and all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and team. It just makes the game fun to watch. Look at the 76ers starting group. In at the guard spots, Maxi and Melton. Whoa, look out! Look out! Wow. Okay. Can I see you? Oh, my. What a huge flush by Edwards showing off right now. Now, here's Maxi. Here's MD. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Edwards finds McDaniel. Out to Edwards. A three ball. Sinks the triple. Edwards got five now. He's so good off the bounce. Edwards working on his shot. Off the catch. And it is paying off. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. It's good from long range. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you yeah i love the competitive fire right there you drain a triple on us and i'm coming for my revenge now here's edwards he's got five nice ball movement by minnesota towns for three and another three for minnesota wow towns say hey i can go there too here's maxi another three for philadelphia and they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Edwards passes to Gobert. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. On the wing, Melton. Off target from three-point range. Timberwolves have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Back to Edwards. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Edwards. Just five to shoot. Towns the screen. Edwards drives in. Oh, an aggressive drive by Edwards. Going into attack mode on that one. Read a screen on Edwards. Here's Maxi and slam dunk by Maxi. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Now here's MD. So they take the lead. In the mold of Shaq, Joel Embiid is physically just overwhelming. Plus, he's got some touch and skill. And Richard, with Joel Embiid, his combination of physical dominance and skill, it's almost unfair. Yeah, he's a 300-pound guy with the agility of a wing. That is not fun to guard. He can bully you or beat you with the net. There's really no weakness in his game, right? And great strength and body control from Edwards. Able to finish through the contact. Edwards against Maxi. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. And you don't like to concede the free throws, but it's better than getting flushed on. And when you look at the moves that Embiid has in the mid-range, he moves like a guard out there. He studies film of Kobe and Jordan. Look, it shows up when you watch his footwork. It's amazing to see someone his size move so fluid. Oh, here's Edwards. He's got nine. Maxi looking it over. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. On the wing, Melton. Back to Maxi. Over Edwards. Another miss by Philadelphia. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid range. 109 left in the first quarter. And Gobert kicks to Edwards. 
And he drives in. And Embiid with the block. Yeah, defensively, Embiid can take over a game with his reach. Big block from him there. Here is Edwards. Pass to McDaniels. Four on the shot clock. Great D that time from Oubre. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Maxi passes to Melton. Maxi against Edwards. No good that time. Towns with the defensive effort. Edwards finds McDaniel. Towns a screen on Melton. Here's Edwards. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. A good read by Edwards playing at his pace and carving out space for that shot. Edwards against Maxi. And the pass to Melton. And they double up Maxi. Here's Reed. And the rejection by Towns. A firm denial by Towns, knocking away with that tremendous lift. Anthony Edwards has been leading the charge for the Timberwolves. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Timberwolves. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And also, guys, they're playing for one another right now. All those extra passes are leading to easy buckets. Reed is out there with Miller. Then there's McDaniels, and it's D.J. Warren, and it's Conley in at the point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Now here is Conley. Here's McDaniels. Ooh, what a slam! What a slam! Conley developed great vision in terms of the floor, and that allows him to spot an open teammate. Love to see him inside passing like this, as well as guys being on the same page. And the layup's good off the glass. And what a smart player Conley is, able to analyze defenses in pick and rolls and make the right read. Here's Lowry. He takes it in. Bucket is good. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Warren is screen on Lowry. Conley, the pass to Warren. And it's Warren with... in these sets. I like how Warren takes what the defense gives him. Harris outside. Pulls from the top of the key. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Conley feeling it out. Has to read. Back to Conley. Frank, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Now here is Lowry. The layup missed. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Yes, that goes in. Showing some assertiveness inside. Warren knows you can't beat the defense if you play scared. Lowry drives in. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. And it's Miller in the corner. Conley against Lowry. This is it to Reed. It's up a three. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. 
Conley's got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. And the Timberwolves with possession here after the Sixers pick up two. Lowry against Conley. There's the pick to the paint. It's stolen by Lowry. And here's the fast break, and Bamba leading the way. And the dunk by Bamba. Look at Heald's unselfish approach. He's working to find everyone a look, not just himself. Conley against Lowry. Conley, the pass to Miller. And Miller throws it down hard. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Bamba setting the pick for Lowry. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And he is an elite level decision maker. Lowry understands when to pass out of that pick and roll and when to shoot. Outside Warren. 55 seconds left in the first half of the game. Conley kicks to Reed. Shot clock at five. And two shots coming up. And here we go with the coach's challenge. A surprise in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And this is the time. What constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed. And the one thing with replay review. The ruling on the floor. Is confirmed. And then speed at which these players are moving. And how fast the action really is. And, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Robert Covington's checked in for Martin. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Trailing by two. Down low, Covington. And the dunk by Covington. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Conley for three. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Here's Bamba. Rebound, Minnesota. 15 seconds left in the first half. Lowry against Kump. Back to Miller. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And the teams are going to have to wait before him. The previous play is under review. Bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The replay leaving little doubt. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. We're going to switch the call. There is no doubt, and looking at the replay, that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but when you have it there, you got to use it. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game. It's been fairly even so far. You know, Anthony Edwards has been exceptional here, guys. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column? Through two quarters, he has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And so, in the game for the 76ers, in at the guard spots, Maxie and Melton. Joel Embiid out there with Robert Covington, and it's Oubre in at the three slot. Timberwolves leading by three. And 
Edwards looking it over. Gobert, the screen. Floats one. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Excellent touch on the floater. Edwards is such a dynamic offensive talent. Here's Maxi And slam dunk by Maxi. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Oh, here's Edwards. He's got 13. Offside, Towns. And there's the drive. Gobert, the pass to McDaniels. And again, Minnesota with the triple. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Maxi into the lane. And that's an intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Outside, Maxi. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Maxi's got four this quarter. Capitalizing from the mid-range. Maxi just taking what he sees and making it available. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Over Maxi. Now here's McDaniel. Covered by Ubre. Offensive rebound. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Covington setting the pick for Oubre. Dishes to Embiid. Rebound, Minnesota. Left side, Edwards. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. And that was a confident shot. Love when Edwards just rises up and fires off the dribble. Embiid powers it down. Get him the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. Timberwolves leading by four. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Gobert in the corner. Shot clock at six. Here's McDaniels. Almost, but it rolls out. Normally he drains that. Maxie against Edwards. Outside, Maxie. Here's Melton. A three-pointer off the mark. The Timberwolves have gone three or five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. The shot's good from Alexander Walker. And showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Maxi with it, now guarded by Towns. Maxi kicks to Covington. That one good for two. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. So they foul intentionally. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Miller comes in for Towns. Warren's checked in for Alexander Walker. And it's Conley in for Edwards. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Still a solid point guard in this league. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both ends. The Timberwolves shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. You got to give it up for Lowry's toughness. He's got that scores mentality. Some contact won't stop him from converting. Now here is Conley. Seven points in the game. Into the lane. Reed kicks to Conley. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. The 76ers trail by four. 52 seconds left to play in the third. The feed to Bamba. And the jump by Bamba. Look, as his career has gone on, the vision, let's say it's improved for Harris. Miller with a screen on low. Here's Conley. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Timberwolves lead by four. 
and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Healed outside. To the inside. Here's Martin. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. The Timberwolves have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the third. Conley dishes to Warren. And it's Warren with the jam. Thrown down by T.J. Warren. Gets to the rim with ease. Here's Reed. No good on the last second attempt there. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game so far. Tim. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this way? We talk a lot about playing for one another. Right there with the pass, he's demonstrated what it means to do exactly this. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Conley out there with Warren. Then there's Reed. Then there's McDaniels, and it's Miller in at the power forward. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. And the dunk by Bamba. And how about the nine-foot-six standing reach Bamba has? I mean, it's unguardable this close. Dunks it with such ease. Now here's Conley over in the corner, McDaniels. Back to Conley. Outside Warren. And it's Warren with the jam. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. The 76ers making a switch here. Covington's checked in. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Heald finds Covington. Stolen by McDaniels. Fast break, Minnesota. <laughs> And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Pressuring the ball and making a play that created the opportunity. And as soon as they got the steal, it was off to the races. This is the aggressive mindset that the coaching staff encourages them to maintain. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert, who's checked in for Reed. Alexander Walker comes in for T.J. Warren. And Anthony Edwards subbed in for Mike Conley. Now, here's Maxi. Over Edwards. Maxi, no good. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers. But maybe just a little bit more resistance. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Here's Edwards. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. And we are seeing tonight why Edwards was selected first overall. Anthony has a special ability to score. And finished off by Oubre. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Well, that's how you drive your point home right there. Gobert with a screen on Maxi. No one near Edwards as he lets it walk. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. And it's really good to see Edwards knock down the mid-range jumper. He continues to work on becoming more consistent from that area. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Timberwolves. Now they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. And something else that stands out is how efficient they've been from the mid-range, making the most of their opportunities. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Towns is checked in, and the 76ers also making a change. 
Heald checked in for Kelly Oubre. Now Heald. After Anthony Edwards missed from long range. This is what Heald does. Exceptional at spacing the court with his three-point shooting. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Six-point game. That is not the shot they needed there. You've got to work it around and get a better look. And the dunk by Towns. And forget those threes. Cat, get the easy one. <laughs> Edwards against Maxi. This now to Embiid. Heald sets the pick for Embiid. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got his sixth rebound on the night. Timberwolves leading by eight. Outside, Towns. Gobert with a screen on Covington. Towns kicks to Edwards. Back to Towns. Just four to shoot. Towns. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Towns has got the lead up to 10 now for the Timberwolves. And you have to account for Towns on the backboards. He is too big to miss. Embiid. My goodness. Joel Embiid. Spectacular. Woo, throw it down, big man. You got to love seeing Embiid rise up and just throw it down. And oh, here we go. Covington's got it. The fast break change. They kick out to heel. Watch the screen. Pass to Covington. He gets that one. A smart offensive player. I like watching Covington get interior positioning and look to score. There's the pass to Towns. Outside Edwards. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. He feeds it to Gobert. Edwards passes to Gobert. Good work there as it goes. And the Timberwolves win by eight. And the big man from France, Gobert, a menace around the rim. And he gets the bucket. Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. Downs with it.
combinations on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? And now the Atlanta Hawks starters. Murray the two and Griffin the three. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Young in at the point guard. And that one's good. I really like that from Young. Hitting that tweener shot, making them guard you all around the floor. Maxi passes to Embiid. Up top, Maxi. Embiid is screened on Murray. Here's Maxi. The rebound by the Hawks. Well, it's a make or miss league. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. You know, Murray's game is about putting the ball on the floor, moving without it when he doesn't have it, and driving and keeping pressure on the defense. Maxi, that's good. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Count it. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Maxi. Martin with a screen on Griffin. Oubre passes to Martin. From deep. Embiid misses. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Screen by Capella. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Young's got seven points. The deep ball from Young. He only needs a little wiggle room to feel comfortable firing away. Good on the shot. Reliable approach. Getting the ball in the paint and going to work. Well, Clark, it's nice to have a guard like the Anthony Melton who takes care of business on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I love that about him. Old school two-way guard, B.A. Because he can make shots, he can make plays, but he also can defend. And he does it all with the level of professionalism and focus that you like to see. For Philadelphia, they've gone just two for four from the floor. To the inside. And he makes it on the layup. Well, Maxi continues improving as a facilitator, finding these opportunities to get the ball moving. And he commits the intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. Maxi passes to Martin. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. That's how you run the pick and roll. Maxi capping it off with the perfect pass. Young looking for an opening. Screen by Capella. The three is up. Gets a hand on it, controls the rebound and the putback. He has the knack for being in the right spot at the right time. Gets a lot of sneaky points with his work on the glass. Martin with a screen on Murray. To the paint. And he dunks it down. What he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Four-point game. Capella finds Murray. Capella, screen on Oubre. Murray against Oubre. Just five on the clock. Murray passes to Young. Over Melton. Young misses. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Good work there as it goes. Martin's got six. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And even after airtight defense like that, you still just expect him to hit those kind of shots. Melton, right side. Let's it go from 14. Johnson against Martin. 
he surveys. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Atlanta's gone two for four from range to start things off. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Murray against Oubre. On the wing, Murray. Seven points in the game. Capella, screen on Melton. Young from long range. Good challenge that time by Embiid, using all that length quite well. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. The Hawks on top. They're up by two. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And from what we've seen from the Hawks, what's your take so far? Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. Oh, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. They had a Kongwu, the duo inside. Wesley Matthews out there with Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's Hunter in at the three slot. Akangwu, a screen on Covington. Bogdanovich from long range. Gets the three ball to go. Bogdanovich has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian. Philly fans, they're known for their passion, and Tyrese Maxey said, I love them because they're real. They're honest and they're tough. They know the game, they know what they're talking about, and they know what players are getting out of it. They care about winning, and that's what I care about. Brian? That's such a great sports city, too. Ali, thank you. Akangwu, a screen on Covington. Pass to Bay. Clock at six from deep three-point land. And the Hawks with another three. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Lowry, good. Lowry's got his second basket of the game. Playing way bigger than his six-foot height. Lowry scores it inside. He just plays with so much heart. Knocked away. Okongwu, the pass to Bay. Here's Matthews. He's guarded by Lowry. Here's Matthews. No point so far. And he can't get that one. Down low. Out to heel. Here they come with numbers in transition. Okongwu, a screen on Lowry. Here's Matthews. He's guarded by Lowry. Matthews passes to Bogdanovich. Five on the clock. And the Hawks tack on two more. And Grant, you talked about it. Early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure's real. And it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. To the middle. Here's a Kongwu. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And now an eight-point Hawks lead. You know, with that kind of height mismatch, you've got to send help defensively. And Philadelphia calls time here. The 76ers have got two of three shots to go in the second. Here's Lowry. Tipped. Pass to Bamba. It's Covington on the wing. Tries again. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And I like the soft release Covington has on his floaters. I mean, they look great coming off of his fingertips. Here's Bogdanovich. And he converts the layup. Bogdanovich has got seven now in this quarter. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Lowry, good. And this is why Lowry excels in the modern game. In the pick and roll, Kyle can beat you either way. Akangwu, a screen on Covington. Here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Akangwu. On the wing, Bay. Guarded by Heald. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Hunter for three. The rebound by Bamba. 
That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Harris passes to Heald. Harris against Hunter. Now here's Heald. No made basket yet. And the jam by Covington. Man, I like to see Covington get aggressive in the paint. Sending a message to the defense with that dunk. Here's Bogdanovich. Good D by Harris. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Pick by Covington. Heald from outside. Sinks it from distance. And it's now just a one-point Hawks lead. Confidence oozing from the corner shot. Heald staying true from deep. Here's Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Substitution on the court. Pass to heel. Six on the shot clock. Over Murray. Rebounded by Johnson. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump. And so it's Bogdan Bogdanovich making things happen for Atlanta. Hunting for opportunities. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. If you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boy, Bogdan Bogdanovich really making a difference here. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Robert Covington is out there with Mobamba. Then there's Tobias Harris. Then it's Kyle Lowry. And it's Heal in at the two. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Ooh, costly foul there. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. Like a lot of smaller guys, there's a real ferocity to Trey Young's game. He's willing to scrap to get what he wants. Good on the second one. And he makes all three. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Murray against Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Pulls up, high post. And the 76ers tack on two more. And Embiid has this shot in his bag. He's confident from that area. Pulls up. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Young's got 12. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by three. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off-the-court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court. Offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Brian? He does it well, for sure. Allie, thanks for that. Oubre, a screen on Murray. Here's Maxi. Pass to Oubre. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Oubre's gotten his second bucket of the game. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. And given the chance, Clark, Kelly Oubre's shown he can be a go-to scorer. I always liked his game. He was just so volatile. He'd get out of control at times, but he's really worked hard to refine his emotions, which has helped him refine his game, and he's added some strength. All of that has made him a pretty potent offensive package. Here's Maxi, and he drives in. Oh, a big finish for the one-handed jam. Maxi, so good at breaking you down off the dribble. Great skill. Pass to Griffin. Here's the three. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. 
Young against Melton. From the arc. Another three for Atlanta. This is where Young most resembles Steph Curry. Both have range almost out to half court. Outside Oubre. Shoots over Griffin. Oubre can't hit. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Melton against Young. Tries it from the top of the key. Young! Does it himself all alone at the rim. And the defense really has no chance when Young gets in space. He's just too skilled. Embiid's shot is good. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. And I'll tell you what, guys. I mean, with this combination of size and touch, he's a real threat from mid-range. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. Bogdanovich passes to Okongwu. Substitution on the court. Bogdanovich against Covington. Okongwu, a screen on Covington. Back to Okongwu. Takes the three. And the three-pointer goes. Okongwu's got five. Boy, a big man with great touch from deep. Always a valuable commodity in today's game. Heald passes to Covington. Comes up empty down low. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Here's Matthews. Sinks that one from the post. And now a 10-point Hawks lead. Man, nice to watch Matthews rise up with confidence. Superb at getting good position close to the rim. And Hill puts up a deep three. Another three for Philadelphia. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Bogdanovich against Covington. Bogdanovich passes to Matthews. Back to Bogdanovich. Here's Matthews. Okongwu, a screen on Lowry. A shot from the mid-range. Matthews misses. The 76ers have gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Harris finds heel. Drops in the layup for two. Now just a five-point Hawks lead. And I like whenever Hill attacks inside like this, exploiting the defense when they give him these chances. Picked up by a Kongwu. Here's Hunter. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. A big time effort for Trey Young, providing a. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up. Tasty room service dime right there for him. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Hawks. Hunter in Bay holding down the forward spots. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Wesley Matthews. And it's a Kongwu in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And so it's Bogdanovich with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Hunter passes to Bay. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. This speaks to the level of confidence Bogdanovich possesses. Looking to shoot immediately off the catch. Lowry, the pass to Harris. Out to the wing. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. Bay outside. This one for three. And the Hawks with another time three. Out, time out. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Hawks. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. 
Yeah, they've also done a great job of running. Attacking when they get the chance. Always a great idea. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. I had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. He told his guys to, quote, turn it up. Going on to say, only way we get out of this hole is with effort. Incredible effort. So show me what you can do out there. It's a big ask, but we'll see what happens. Back to you. Thank you for that, Allie. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. Hey, yo, right Capella, screen on Oubre. Murray looking around. Puts the move on. Second chance shot. Here's Capella. And they're on the run. Melton finds Embiid. Shot from the wing. Again, Philadelphia. Nice pass from Melton. Solid job at getting it to his teammates. The Hawks leading. Murray passes to Capella. And here's Griffin. Maxi covering. Young against Melton. Back to Young. Just five to shoot. Young drives it in. He's now eight for 11 after that made shot. It's amazing what Young can do out there offensively. He just reads the defense so well. Embiid can't hit. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Melton against Young. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his third foul so far. First team foul. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Screen by Capella. Murray passes to Griffin. And here is Young. Shot clock at six. Silky smooth from Trey Young. It's another big night for Trey Young. A relentless score, constantly testing your defense. From deep, Melton. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got six rebounds here tonight. Atlanta's gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Murray passes to Capella. Young with it, and Melton picks him up defensively. Young against Melton. Goes up from the top of the key. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. Capella, screen on Martin. Murray, no good. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Maxi against Murray. Maxi, that's good. Well, the defense was looking for something different there. Maxi kept it himself off the pick that time. For Atlanta, they've gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Capella, screen on Melton. Young, the pass to Capella. The kick out to Young. Another one falls for Atlanta. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Hawks. I was really impressed with their attitude today, Graham. Competitive game. They battled through every step of the way. And, B.A., can you say big-time effort and energy? <laughs> I mean, just a tremendous performance. They were well-deserving of this win. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Trey Young. Boy, from a scoring standpoint, he was absolutely sensational. Made the game look easy tonight. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And Young has got the ball here for the Atlanta Hawks. Twenty-six seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Capella, screen on Ubre. Murray, no good. And this one feels just about over. Yeah, they'll play it out, but I think it just wasn't meant to be tonight. Now Maxi.
what a doris both these teams are what do you think both should be looking to do here tonight well kevin athleticism is best showcased in transition so we expect the pace to be high there is going to be pressure at the rim the potential for the spectacular could happen on any moment and now the opening lineup for boston the talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. And there's Porzingis, then it's Holiday, and it's Brissett in the power forward. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Young fires away from outside, from beyond the arc, and then some. And one thing about Trey Young, this guy has zero fear. Always looking to pull from deep. Holiday with the three, drops in the tray. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now, here is Young. Here's Capella. Oh, and the jam by Capella. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella, skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here's Young, following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Young, good! Young's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, unselfish play. What you like about Murray, he, he doesn't get tunnel vision with the ball. He keeps his eyes up and his options open. Now here's Porzingis. Holiday, no one around him. And the Celtics, another three. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Young with the ball. Now guarded by Porzingis. And the dunk by Capella. Excellent ball movement. Young being unselfish. Now Holiday. He's got six. Outside, Brzingis. Tries it from the top of the key, and it's Boston with another. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now, here is Young. Five points in the game. Capella with a screen on Brown. Murray, the pass to Capella. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's on Przingis. And a great display of physicality from Capella. He's not one to shy away from contact. Tatum passes to Przingis. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here is Young. Capella with a screen on Brown. Shots good from Young. And we tend to focus on the outside shooting with Young, but his in-between game is just as lethal. Holiday against Murray. Poked away. Well, something you never like to see, but uh, guys, he definitely looks hurt. And I'll tell you, this is something you never like to see. No, obviously something that, you know, every player fears. The NBA has made player safety a priority, but injuries continue to happen. And the Hawks making a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Atlanta making a switch here. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. Tatum with it, and guarded by Capella. Tatum's shot is off. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. They trail by one. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their. franchise for years well this is where Porzingis thrives he is shot ready on the catch Young for three here's Capella that one goes in for him too making it look easy he's now four for four 
what energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. And there's the pass to Holiday. 46 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Persingas. Back to Holiday. Celtics passing it around. Outside Tatum. And the Celtics another three. Jason Tatum has built such consistency from beyond the arc. Doesn't matter if there's a contest or not. Capella sends a screen for Young. And they come right back with their own three-point. Young's got ten points in the game. The Celtics have gone eight of eleven in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any night. And here is Tatum. That one goes in. He's got five. Well, size and skill. Tatum on the interior. Yes, sir. There's the three. No good on the shot. A big-time effort for Perzingis, providing a lot of energy for Boston. He got the double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Right back after this break. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Celtics. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Home here now for an injury report. And now Hall of Famer David Aldridge has an update for us on DeJounte Murray. David, what's the news there? Thanks, Kevin. I got some news from the Hawks' head athletic trainer. The he told me that it looks like he sprained that wrist. Thankfully, no signs of broken bones. They're holding him out for the rest of the game, and although they don't think he'll be out long, they haven't ruled out the chance that he could miss additional games as well. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Appreciate the update. Never like to see any kind of injury break. Yeah, and it's one of the toughest parts of the game because you have little to no control over it. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. On the court for the Celtics, the guard pair. It's white and brown. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then there's Horford. And it's Brissett in at the four. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Doris, looking at the career of Jalen Brown so far, his rise to stardom has been impressive. It's impressive, Kevin, because of the work put in. He needed to become a more complete offensive player by, number one, improving his handle, and number two, becoming more efficient with his shooting. He's done both. He's always been a force in transition. Jalen has been special. And that one, good. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Pat Donovich wide open. Here's Bay. That ball. Nice speed that time from Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got three assists in the game. Matthews against White. Horford with the screen on Matthews. Passes to Horford. Back to White. Pocket six. Horford sets a screen for White. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And a dunk by Horford. That's an excellent decision. Playing in the pick and roll. Just understanding where the windows are. Delivers it right in the pocket. Bogdanovich finds Bay. Bogdanovich inside. Brown's there. Bay with it. Here's Okongwu. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Okongwu's now got his third bucket of the night. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Pulls up on the leg, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. 
Well, you've got to appreciate the athleticism of Jalen Brown. This guy's a quick penetrator who forces defenses to get physical with him. And break the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer. For a time, the richest in NBA history. Hey, you gotta pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. The Celtics have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Break, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, uh, and, and the rules might have helped some. I mean, there is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. And here's White following the three from Bogdan Bogdanovich. White the pass to Horford. Plays it up off the glass. Horford's got six points. Well, this guy's such a polished player from this area of the floor. Al Horford, it doesn't get any easier than that one right there. Bogdanovich against Brown. And Bogdanovich throws it down. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Now, here's Horford. After the miss from Derek White. A shot off that time. Good D by Matthews. Here's Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, great. He can get up a few notches higher. White the pass to Walsh. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, good job to take it right at the Austin shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. So both teams changing it up here. He hits the second from the line. Here's Young. He's got 10. Pass to Bay. There's the drive. And Bay throws it down. Oh, fellas, that was vicious to him. Monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Without question, Trey Young displaying his skills today. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. Hunter is out there with Johnson. Then it's Trey Young. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Pumpkin in at the two spot. That's the group starting the second half for Quinn Snyder. Holiday with the three, drills the three-pointer. Holiday's got nine points. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6'4", he can get his shot off against just about anybody. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. And the Celtics another three. The three. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Now, here is Young. 12 points for him. Celtics back. David Springer. His first. Team first. 
with a little over a minute gone. The second half is underway. Here's Young. Again, the Hawks score. A bad man on the offensive end. Young can really be a menace with this shoot. Outside Holiday. Pass to Persingas. Dishes it to Tatum. Five to shoot. Let's the free fly. And it's Persingas that time on the assist by Tatum. 13 points in the game. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And Holiday kicks to Persingas. Poke loose, and it goes out of bounds. That went off Persingas. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Here's Young. Over to the wing. Capella, the pass to Johnson. Pass to Bufkin. Hunter with it. Hawks passing it around. Six on the shot clock. On its way from Young for two. Again, the Hawks, good for two. You know, execute the turnaround as well as he did there, and there's not much a defense can do about it. Just have to hope the shot's not falling. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. Puts it up. And there are the Celtics with another basket. The Hawks trail by three. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player. And this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I, I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on the finals team at just 24 years old. Now here's Tatum. Ten points for him. And the jump by Tatum. I love that Jason Tatum not settling for a jumper. He goes to the rim with authority. Capella with a screen on Howard. Here's Young. Capella gets to Young. Capella sets a screen for Young. That's a basket. Is eighth from the field, eight of 14. He's smart at using the screen there to just create space. Young, very reliable in that pick and roll. Outside Holiday. Rebound by the Hawks. Capella's got six rebounds in the game. Capella with a screen on Hunter. They get it back. Capella kicks to Johnson. Capella sets a screen for Young. Again, the Hawks score. Austin's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Now here is Holiday. He's guarded close for Zingas. The kick out to Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. Johnson dishes to Hunter. Inside. Young against Holiday. And again, it's Trey Young with the triple. Young's got 23. Austin's gone 7-9 on three-pointers tonight. Outstanding mark from long range. Holiday looking over the floor. Porzingis sets the pick for Holiday to the middle. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. At the end of the third, the score is all even. Both teams absolutely filling it up. And we'll have the... And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court right now for the Celtics, they've got Jalen Brown. White is out there with Horford, and it's Brissett into the power four. 
Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam. See, some muscle, some urgency from him there. Sure. Inside. Reset. Shot is good. And hey guys, all about hard work from this point on. They, they worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. And it's stolen by Brown. Kicks to White. Back to Brown. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Great open look there. And it's a five-point Celtic lead. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers. Here. The hustle stats for Boston. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. The rhythm. Another thing I thought they did well was pressure. They forced a ton of turnovers, turned those opportunities into points. Okongwu with a screen on Brown to the inside. And Okongwu slams it in. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Light the pass to Horford. Here's Brissett. He's defended by Bay. Well, this is an example of the court awareness we talked about with Al Horford. This guy's a very willing passer. Okongwu with a screen on Brown. A three from Bogdanovich. Horford with the rebound. Here's Boston now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. And they go to the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. On the wing, Brown. Down low. Here's Brissett. And the layup falls. Brissett's got the lead up to 10 now for the Celtics. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. Here's Bogdanovich. Rebound, Boston. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Team second. At the line for the Celtics. Derek White. One shot. And that one falls for White. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross-positional defender. A guy who can contribute to a good team. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Johnson comes in for Sadiq Bey. Hunter's checked in for Griffin. And Trey Young subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And he nails the third. And so it's Capella with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. It's a 14-point game. A nice shot by Young. And on the drive, Young can be so sudden. The defense barely gets a chance to react. Tatum with the screen on Young. The pass to Tatum from past the arc. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists tonight. Holiday against Young. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And he uses the glass on the way. Young's got four points this quarter. Nice job capitalizing down there. Young good at probing inside and finding some space. Right the pass to Tatum. Fires high post. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here. For Boston. They made more foul shots, and that was the difference. That, that was a big advantage. The other team was defending with their hands instead of moving their feet, and they handed them a Three lot of points. easy points Three at the line. Points. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Drew Holiday. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. 
He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. For three, and the Celtics hit again from deep. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. The real come at us, but we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Six seconds separate the shot and game clocks, Boston and it's ball. out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Here's Horford. From about 19 feet, again, the Celtics good for two. But the truth is they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. Shots good from Young. Really easy to admire Young's confidence. Knows he has the ability to drain it. From got it to drop! <laughs> he got it to drop! Goodbye and good night! Oh. Fires the three, and Trey Young hits from deep. Young's got 35 in the game. Amazing individual performance, but you'd like to see more guys start to get involved. I don't know if he can do
star power. I mean, that's a big reason these squads are at the top. You know, both sides have the elite talent that they can rely on when the going gets a little tough. So let's take a look at the starters for the Denver Nuggets. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Porter Jr. and Jokic down low. And it's Gordon in at small forward. Shot clock at three. Porzingis. Oh, yes. The turnaround. So nice to see a big guy with that kind of shooting touch. One of Porzingis' strongest attributes. Holiday against Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. Drains the triple. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Holiday against Murray. Porzingis with a screen on Murray. Three-pointer, Holiday. Jokic grabs the board. And so Murray will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Pass to Jokic. Jokic with a screen on Holiday. Back to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Now sometimes there's passes and then there's precision passes. Murray with one of those there. Well, Brent, the past several years have been the brightest in Nuggets history. And it makes perfect sense. I mean, B.A., you go out and find a, a player that elevates everybody else, a guy who becomes the two-time MVP. The talent on the roster has taken strides. They've done a great job in the draft process. It's great to see Denver becoming a legitimate powerhouse in the Western Conference. And a great job, Murray, just getting inside the defense and knifing his way in. Holiday with the ball. Now Porter defending. Porter with the steal. Right side, Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got three assists in the game. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Tatum finds Porzingis over Jokic. Porzingis misses. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss Assist. from there. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Tatum, shot is good. Oh, the ball handling of Tatum. It's what separates him from other star wings. And it's Murray off the drive. And it's Murray finishing it off. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Here's Murray. Shakes it inside. And it's Murray finishing it off. He's got so many tools, and then you forget how good Murray is athletically. Gets up that time. To the inside. Gordon with a steal. Murray with it. Picked up by Tatum. Pass to Jokic. The three. And the Another three for Denver. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And the dunk by Jokic. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Now here's Porzingis. They need this. The offensive rebound. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Yeah, Drew very much willing to go in there, scrap out a rebound, and hit the boards. Murray drives in, and it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point for three, Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Porzingis has got five now. Well, when Porzingis has an active and confident stroke, he can be dangerous from three. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome. To first, first I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right ball. there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Holiday against Murray. Holiday passes to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Gordon. Pass to Porzingis. 
And the Celtics have another three. Ready to shoot, Porzingis fires. Timeout called, the Nuggets. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. And the Nuggets going with a whole new group out there. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. Eight-point game. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Brown. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Walsh. Now Horford. Three on three. No one near him. Another one falls for Boston. You have to admire when a big man like Horford runs the floor gracefully like that. Offense is coming free and easy as we wrap up the first. The Nuggets on top. Up by six. Don't go away. We'll be back with the... And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Denver. So far, they've had a lot of success off fast break plays, and they'll probably continue to push the tempo as much as possible. Well, they've really attacked off of the turnovers, so leaking out and capitalizing on fast breaks. Then. On the floor for Denver, getting going in the second. They've got DeAndre Jordan. Christian Brown out there with Jackson. Then it's Zeke Naji. And it's Watson in at the three. Jordan, the pass to Brown. From downtown. And he's in the books. Now one for two. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to... Whoa! Brown with a huge slam! You can tell Brown is having fun. What a phenomenal dunk artist he is. Here's Jackson. And the dunk. By Jackson. Jackson. And adds a few more points to their lead. Showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Right side white, out to Horford, from behind the arc, and again, Boston with the triple. Another big out there who can stretch the floor, Horford doing that now often. Jackson surveying the deep, Jordan, and slam dunk by Jordan. That's the kind of pass that you run there, work Jackson. the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Screen by Horford. Spins. Back to White. Outside. Brown. Shot clock at five. Again, Boston. A superb mid-range shooter. All Brown needs is some separation, and he's ready to pull up. Brown passes to Jackson. White with the steal. In transition. Here they come. Puts up a three. And White finishes off the break. Well done. And you can tell they're in sync right now. Expertly turning the steal into fast break points. Jackson down low. Warford covering. Kicks it out to Jackson. Back to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Jordan. Really good job by Reggie Jackson just finding the shooter and feeding him. Boston trailing. And so they foul intentionally. A different look for Denver. Jokic is checked in for Jordan. Michael Porter comes in for Naji. And Murray subbed in for Jackson. To the middle. Here's Horford. Rejected by Jokic. You're known as a shot blocker, but Jokic smart enough to sniff that one out and impact the field goal attempt. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Zengas has checked in for Horford, and it's Jason Tatum in for Jalen Brown. 
And the switch here also for Denver. Caldwell Pope checked in for Brown. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help to be a facilitator. Murray against White. Outside Tatum. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Jokic with a screen on White. Pass to Jokic. There's the three. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. White finds Porzingis. Oh, look out! Porzingis! And for Porzingis, gosh, a dunk looks so easy. White with the steal. Porzingis passes to Tatum. And he makes it. And now just a one-point nugget lead. And that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And it's Murray with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Murray right now just being relentless on the offensive end, drives right into the foul, and then takes that shot. Murray. Drew Holiday's checked in for Boston. Jordan's checked in for Denver. Gordon comes in for Watson. We hear that label unicorn thrown out there a bit these days. But Nikola Jokic, he is truly one of one, Brent. Yeah, incredible to watch the way that Jokic is able to control the game and pick his spots to be able to impact it, whether that's by rebounding the ball and playing physical, dishing the ball and making some assists happen, or shooting the ball from the three-point line. A complete package. The speed of Tatum's drive makes it so tough to defend. You just don't get a chance to stop him. Now here's Gordon. He's guarded closely. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Gordon with a screen on Tatum. Porter gets the bucket. Porter Porter's Jr. got his second bucket of the night. Strong work close to the rim. Porter Jr. showing he's more than just a shooter. Holiday against Murray. For three, Porzingis. The rebound by Murray. Denver's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And slammed up by Jordan. You can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And there are the Nuggets with another bucket. We see this time to time for Murray when he's locked in, and he's completely locked in. He'll carry the offense. Here's Porzingis. Misses from close range. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, trying to avoid the in one. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. could join us we've got two quarters left to go in regulation really an incredible game from Jamal Murray he's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket and you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen the star wing pair it's Brown and Tatum outside then there's Al Horford then there's Drew Holiday and it's Walsh in at the four and that's the group for Joe Mazzulla as we begin the second half Jordan. Ah. Picture perfect role. Cutting the defense to pieces with the quickness was DeAndre Jordan. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Five to shoot. Tatum from long range. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Jordan, the screen. Down low. Horford with a steal. Pass to Walsh. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. Yeah, the way Tatum shares the ball really completes his package. Denver in the lead. 
Jackson outside. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Quarter a screen. Jacks up a three. Counted from distance. Caldwell Pope's got nine. Three. You gotta stay connected to Caldwell Pope. He's a knockdown shooter and he can get it going. Holiday surveying the floor. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. That one misses. And watch Drew Holiday, Britt. This guy is so tough, physically and mentally. NBA, there's a lot of guys in the league that we say are underrated, but the secret is out on Drew Holiday, especially after the way he played in the NBA Finals. This guy is the best defensive perimeter player on the floor, unselfish, and what a great backcourt partner. And a statement from Jamal, when he gets that kind of room, he's capable of throwing it down. Holiday passes to Tatum. Warford, a screen on Gordon. Back to Holiday. Fires from deep. Knocks it down from distance. Six points for him. Excellent screen and roll there by Holiday. He gets a great look at the rim and then calmly steps up and knocks it down. Here's Jokic. Throw it down the cold. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Pass to Brissett. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum taking flight. Four, four rim. Tatum plays with such an edge. Murray inside. He's covered by Holiday. Out of bounds. Boston will have it. And the Celtics making a change here. Cornette's checked in. Here's Holiday. He's got six. Pass to Tatum. Brissett down low. Working on Naji. Cornette passes to Tatum. Back to Cornette. Second chance effort. And that won't go either for Tatum. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Nuggets. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Brown passes to Cornette to the paint. And a nice finish on the layup. He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Plays fine. Holiday against Jackson. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And that one falls for Jackson. What's been interesting is Reggie has finally seemingly found a home or at least confidence in the way he plays. He's a guy who can carry you on offense and he will score in bursts. And those will be very loud points. Springer, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Drew Holiday. Jordan's checked in for the Nuggets. Goes back up. And it's Jordan with the rebound. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid it straight up and in. Najee in the post. Brissett's there. Najee sets the screen. Here's Brown. Back to Najee. Pass break. Here come the Celtics. Springer misses. Let's be honest. That's not a shot he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. Here's Brown. Off target from outside. Cornette attacks. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. They'll pin that one on DeAndre Jordan. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus.
And so it's Denver closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More two. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop it. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. On the court right now for the Nuggets. Quarter Jr. and Jokic down low. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Gordon in at the three. Murray looking around. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. From outside the arc, Boston with a rebound. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Pass to White. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming in. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Greg. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. And the second free throw is good. Denver has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Porter with a screen on White. And it's Murray finishing it off. Come on now. This kind of powerful finish gets guys going. Yeah, especially when it's coming from your point guard. What a flush. Yeah, great read. Calls his own number and then sends it home. And that's an intentional foul. Tatum, he's checked in for Brown. And a switch here also for Denver. Watson's checked in. Substitution on the court. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. White for three. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has got four rebounds now. And that'll be Denver's ball as he goes out of bounds. Nuggets able to keep possession here. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Tillman's checked in for Cornette. And a switch here also for Denver. Gordon's checked in. Jokic putting his size to work. Hard to stop down low. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Pass to Tillman. On the wing, Tatum. Back to Tillman. Six to shoot. And here's White. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Outside for Porter. And the lamp is good off the glass. Porter showing just great body control that time, taking the hit, but he keeps his eyes on the rim. That helps him score and finish. Outside Tatum from deep. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Murray. Beyond the arc. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Fires from the corner. Quite good. Well, what a great option he gives them on every possession. And it's Murray with the ball for the Nuggets. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Jokic. Murray inside. He's against Tillman. And the basket by Jokic. And Jokic just making this look way too easy. Boston's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Outside White. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. 
Puts up a deep three. The rebound by Murray. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Caldwell Pope. And there are the Nuggets with another bucket. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up in a strong showing for the Nuggets. They really had things going. Their offense carried them tonight, Grant. Yeah, B.A., tonight, simply they won the battle of the field goal percentage. I mean, it made all the difference. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Jamal Murray. And with all these assists, it's obvious how well that he can see the entirety of the floor out there. If an easy bucket is to be had, he'll find it. Baseline jumper. And there's Jokic on the assist by Murray. And the Nuggets lead by 13 got to give them respect they're doing everything they can to close this out love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game just not wanting to let go of the rope from deep three-point land knocked loose here's Walsh defended by Murray right side Tatum there's the triple connects from downtown <laughs> With his feet set, Tatum's going to make you pay. Murray with it.
speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The two towering figures inside for him, Towns and Gobert. Then there's McDaniels. Then there's Edwards. And it's Alexander Walker in at the shooting guard position. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves getting the first points of the ball game. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. And you know finishes like this get Murray pumped up. He's a big-time dunker off the drive now. He'll sneak punch you if you're not careful. Now here's Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Gordon. Here's Edwards. Good defense by Jokic. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Nuggets. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A scene of confusion, Frank. Uh -huh. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. And the Nuggets making a change here. Downs check in. Got to get out on this if you're the defender, or else Murray will. saw the retirement of former Nugget great and future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony Clark. He was one for the ages. And you can't overlook the impact he had, Kevin, and I agree with you. One for the ages. As a rookie, helping them break an eight-year playoff drought, and he never missed the postseason in his seven-plus years in Denver. Now Edwards, following the three-point attempt by Jamal Murray. Edwards kicks to McDaniels. Towns sets the pick for Edwards. Driving in, and Edwards with the stuff. Edwards just doesn't allow defenders to bottle him up. Great focus and persistence. Murray scanning the floor. And it's Murray with the jam. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Yeah, he just couldn't contain himself. Couldn't control himself there. Edwards dishes to Gobert. Pass to Alexander Walker. To the paint. And finished off by Gobert. That's a part of his game that Towns has really developed in his time in the league. Becoming a good passer. Porter finds Murray. Porter a screen on Edwards. And it's Murray with the jam. Goes back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Gobert controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. This is what the team relies on Gobert for. Clearing the glass and finishing the play. Murray against Edwards. Two minutes remaining in the first. He passes it to Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. And Jokic doesn't get up too often, but when he slams it down, it feels like he's trying to bring the basket with him. And what a player Nikola Jokic has become. Clark, a monster at that center position. Greg, he's one of the players I enjoy watching the most. I mean, he is so, so good as a center. Scoring the passing rebounding all of it's there for Joe and he makes it look easy the way he handles himself beautiful to watch that man play hoops here's what Denver's going with right now Jordan he's checked in for Jokic Zeke Naji comes in for Porter Watson he's checked in for Gordon and Reggie Jackson subbed in for Murray now here's Edwards six points for him has to go big thanked in off the glass and it's eight points for Rudy Gobert Best of luck to any defender trying to slow Gobert down. He is ruthless inside. Picked away. And now the Timberwolves on the break. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. Gordon checked in for Denver. Nuggets ball. Checking in the game for your Nuggets. Number 50. The Nuggets trail by three. Outside Jackson. Here's the teardrop. It's stolen by Edwards. Right side Towns. 
The shot from the low post is good. We know Towns is an excellent perimeter shooter. But I like seeing him assert himself inside, too. Here's Jackson. Jordan the screen. Here's Brown. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Jackson against Edwards. To the inside. Here's Gobert. Out to Edwards. Back to Gobert. Down to five on the shot clock. Gobert with a screen for Towns. And that one released in time, but no good. Well, you've got to respect Jordan as a shot clock. He's one of the best in the league. His length and explosiveness make him a great rim protector. And that concludes. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for Minnesota. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. And, you know, another thing that's been working for them tonight, scoring off turnovers, points off miscues. They've been converting any mistakes at the other end. Jackson is out there with Caldwell Pope. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Watson in at the three, the small forward. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. Conley against Caldwell Pope. Miller with a screen on Caldwell Pope. Miller finds Warren. Back to Miller. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's a five-point game, and he's good on the three ball. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. Here's Conley. Denver getting their last shot to go. Back to Reed. Outside Conley. They set the screen. Another miss by Minnesota. Nuggets have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Incredibly for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Clark, the 2004 playoffs are the only time they've won a series. You know, Kevin, with Kevin Garnett, they had a few 50-win teams and some excellent coaches. That just tells you, I think, how hard it is to win in this league. A well Pope with a wide-open look. It's good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Reed gets the bucket. Three. And, you know, Conley developed great vision in terms of the floor, and that allows him to spot an open teammate. Now here's Jackson. Still yet to score. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth in the long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Jokic, he's checked in for Jordan. Porter comes in for Zeke Naji. And it's Jamal Murray in for Reggie Jackson. Conley against Murray. Caldwell Pope outside. Two minutes. Jokic sets the screen for Caldwell Pope. Over to the left wing. Fires for three. Conley grabs the miss. Minnesota's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. And it's Miller in the corner. Drives to the hoop. Good defense by Jokic. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that. 
And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Good. Mike Conley's got it all tied up now for the Timberwolves. And the craftiness of Conley has such a strong feel for when to go to that floater. Murray, the pass to Jokic, and that's a foul. Called on T.J. Warren. That is his first foul of the game. First Gordon's checked in for Denver. Christian Brown comes in for Contavious Caldwell-Pope. And a change for the Timberwolves. Anderson's checked in. Back to Murray. From outside the arc. Rebound, Minnesota. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Miller sets a screen for Conley with the drive. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And what a smart player Conley is, able to analyze defenses and pick and rolls and make the right read. Gordon against Anderson. Right side, Porter. A 15-footer connects the jumper drops. Porter's got four points in the quarter. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Murray against Conley. Driving inside. And he banks in the lane. Conley's got six points. It does a lot for Conley's overall game when he's attacking. He wants to give the be more to worry about than just passing and shooting. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession without question Jamal Murray displaying his skills today in that first half he was a hot knife and the defense was butter sliced right through them well you know what guys my question is this who's he gonna posterize in this half you know we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of it. and on the floor for Chris Finch as we get into the second half the front court is McDaniels and Towns. Then there's Anthony Edwards. And it's Rudy Gobert. And it's Alexander Walker in at the two. Now here's McDaniels. Following the miss by Aaron Gordon. Tries the spin move. Jokic with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Here's Najee. Now that's how to finish the break. Rudolph with the push. Such a savvy pass to Jokic is patient and gets quality openings for his teammates. And when it comes to Nikola Jokic, Mark, is it fair to say he's the best second round pick ever? Absolutely, you'd have to put him at the top of the list. I mean, we're talking about a multi-time MVP and perhaps the best passing big man of all time, too. I don't know of any other second rounders that have those kind of bona fides. And so here's Denver after the basket by Minnesota. Jokic with his screen on it. The drive by Jackson. The pass to Jokic. Edwards with the block. And you see Edwards trying to do this more. Impose his will at the defensive end. Good job defensively that time. The Nuggets shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Free throw. Good. Jokic. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Murray against Edwards. Pass to Porter. And it's Jokic in the corner. That one's good from the corner. Jokic has got the game tied up here for Denver. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. And now they decide to foul intentionally. 
That's his Jordan. He's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Checking in the game for your Nuggets. Gobert with a screen on Gordon. Edwards. Good on the bucket. Edwards got eight points. You know, when you're a guard like Edwards, I think you need the teardrop in your arsenal. Too many great rim protectors in the NBA. That's a shot you need to have. Now here's Murray. He's got nine. And it's Jaden McDaniels with the foul. That is his first foul of the game for the Nuggets. Watson, he's checked in for Aaron Gordon. Contavious Caldwell Pope comes in for Christian Brown. And it's Jackson in for Murray. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Timberwolves. The lead is two. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Minnesota making some changes. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Miller. McDaniels comes in for Kyle Anderson. And it's Edwards in for Warren. Now here's Jackson. No scoring in this one. Feeds it to Jordan. Count it good. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. The Timberwolves have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Conley against Caldwell Pope. Conley kicks to Edwards. The three. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got rebound number five here tonight. And finished off by Porter. What size the vertical, the explosiveness. Porter Jr. has all the tools to throw it down. Conley is just a Towns. Top Reed, six to shoot. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. Reed's got five points so far. The Nuggets have gone an even 50% for the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Jackson looking it over, passes it to Porter. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Porter with the screen for Caldwell Pope. Four on the clock, and that one is stuffed right through. So quick on these drives, as quick as a hiccup. Can't let him, Caldwell Pope, get into the lane like this. Here's the screen. Here's Towns. Oh, what a dunk! Towns with the creativity and explosive. Jackson against Conley. Here's Caldwell Pope, and again it's Denver. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. The Nuggets making a switch here. Aji's checked in, and the Timberwolves also making a change. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Edwards. Reed misses. Nuggets have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. And Jordan throws it down. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player, is Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. Conley against Caldwell Pope. Outside, Towns. Knocks down the three ball. Nine points in the game so far. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age, and this guy can really stretch the floor. Here's Nigel, and he takes the feed in stride and sends it home. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. And not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. The previous play is under the game. You know, some might say, hey, can, can't we just skip the replay this time around? But you just never know. Yeah, anything can happen. I mean, they want to get the call right, and the league is taking steps to speed the process. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And the keeping the call is in as it was close, but he had not released it before the three quarters of play in a close game here. Nuggets lead by three. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the death 
definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Inside form, it'll be Porter and Jokic. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope, and it's Gordon in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Zeke Naji comes in for Michael Porter, and Christian Brown subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Minnesota also making some changes. Go Barry's checked in for Reed. Alexander Walker comes in for T.J. Ward. And in oh. <laughs> oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. Murray, the pass to Brown. <laughs> and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and it'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Good on both. Timberwolves trail by seven. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Here's Edwards. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be Aaron Gordon. And Clark, what can you say about Anthony Edwards? Living up to that first overall hype. He has been spectacular. Yeah, he has been, Kevin. I agree. Some were surprised he went first overall, but you look back at that draft, he was as good a number one pick as any of them, and he's certainly proven to be worthy of that status. Michael Porter, he's jacked in for Najee. Here's Brown. Side Porter. Rebound Minnesota. Gobert's got four rebounds in this game. And it's time for an injury report. Hi guys, the head athletic trainer for the Timberwolves let me know the status. Oh, that is not what you want to see. It sounds like it's a serious injury. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate. He's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sideline. And in the training room, guys. I mean, that is not going to be an easy injury to bounce back from. Here's Jokic, and Jokic slams it in. You love how Esau has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense has taken a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. And challenging the bigger defender coming through in the biggest moment. Well, this guy is always in attack mode, very aggressive. Some players might kick it out there, not him. He's going right to the bucket. Murray finds Porter, shoots over McDaniel. And there's Porter on the assist by Murray. Porter's got the lead up to seven now for the Nuggets. Here's Towns, and it's sent back by Jokic. Jokic bringing it at the defensive end. Love seeing him get busy at that end of the floor. Here's Brown. Two points. That one goes. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Nuggets? Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. The shooting's been great, but also, how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. The Nuggets leading by 10. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Murray, the pass to Porter. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists in the game. Well, the mechanics of Porter Jr.'s shot are just so efficient. Almost automatic. Gets the ball and puts it right up into the shooting pocket. I'll tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Here's Jokic. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Jokic has a nice shot fake and did a good job that time getting the defenders up in the air and drawing the foul. A different look for Denver. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Porter. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Christian Brown. Towns sets the pick for Edwards. 
That's his fifth miss of the game. He has made six of his 11 shots. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for Denver. Murray, the pass to Jokic. High post shot. And he gets it to go. Jokic just got 10 points in just the second half. Boy, they certainly had their way with the opponent at both ends. A really solid night here for Denver. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots Denver to go down. A little luck Denver didn't hurt. Jokic. A lot of their 50-50 shots foul. fell their way. Second and team. we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Jokic. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected an energy into every play. From deep, Jokic. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Edwards passes to Alexander Walker. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Unselfish. As somebody who already draws a lot of defensive attention, Edwards has to be willing to make that next pass. Here's Jokic, and it's Denver scoring again. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. And now the Timberwolves on the break. And that one's good, Towns. And I'm trying to think of how many seven-footers I know with that level floater in their arsenal. It's a short roll call list, folks. Now Murray.
tip off goes to Minnesota. Now Edwards. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves. Inside, we got Towns and Gobert. Edwards out there with Nikhil Alexander Walker. And it's McDaniels in at the three. Your yeah, best to get out of Gobert's way. You don't want to be on the wrong end of that tug. So it's Philadelphia now. After the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. Maxi finds Embiid. And they call an illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Oubre against Edwards. Pass to Towns. Picked by Gobert. Back to Towns. Just five on the clock. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Maxi against Edwards. Maxi passes to Embiid. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. Towns for three. Gobert with a screen on Oubre. McDaniels with it. Picked up by Embiid. Kicks it out, Towns. Back to Gobert. Towns outside. Let's it go from deep. Nails it from three. Oh, Taking his shot in Towns doesn't think he just acts. Well, Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist, but he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high percentage shots that come to him naturally. Melton outside. Screen by Embiid. Minnesota with a rebound. Uh, I'm trying to think of the last time I... This is shot like that. It's, it's been a while. And now we've got an intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. To the middle. And go there with the stuff. Yeah, just continuing to unlock his game. If Edwards adds the playmaking component, <laughs> watch out. Embiid, a screen on Towns. Back to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. At last, their cold streak is over. They finally found something that worked. Uh, yeah, the lid's now off, guys. Maybe they can rattle off a few more in a quick order. Shot is good by Edwards. And a slick play called by Edwards, creating space for himself to operate. Here's Covington. The kick out to Maxi. Covington, a screen on Edwards. Maxi passes to Covington. Back to Maxi. Fires for three. Drops in the three. The pure shooting stroke of Maxi gifted it, draining it from outside the arc. Edwards looking for an opening. Here's Alexander Walker, and the layup falls. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Embiid. Embiid, a screen on McDaniels. Oubre with room to shoot, and the 76ers tack on two more. 127 left in the first quarter. Pass to Alexander Walker. And here's Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. To the wing on the left. Just five to shoot. Here's Towns. It's hauled in by the Sixers. And that's just an off-balance, low-percentage shot, especially without room to operate. Smart pass from the quick-thinking Maxi, outstanding at finding uncovered teammates. For Minnesota, they've gone five of six. They're rolling. Towns, a screen on Oubre. Edwards finds Towns. Now Gobert. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Gobert's got six. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Inside. And Gobert with a block. 
Well, Rudy loves a racing shot. Every chance he gets, he'll take a swipe at you. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter here. Ubre against McDaniels. Clock at six. Now here's Embiid. Tight defense on him. For three, Maxi. And the 76ers, another three. That's on the D there. You gotta chase Maxi off the three point line. Edwards against Ubre. Now here's Edwards. Tightly guarded. Pass to Gobert. Right side, McDaniels. Edwards for three. Oh, at the buzzer! Wow! I didn't think he was going to get it off in time. Oh, wow. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Timberwolves ahead. They're up by four. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. On the court for the Timberwolves. Nas Reed out there with Miller. The Heal Alexander Walker. Then there's Mike Conley, and it's McDaniel's in at the three. Small forward. Down low. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Look at Heal's unselfish approach. He's working to find everyone to look, not just himself. Lowry against Conley. Pass to Miller. Conley looking for an opening. Here's Miller. He's guarded by Martin. Reed for three. And it's Martin with the rebound. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Conley against Lowry. Now here's Conley. The D's right on him. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. Yeah, one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. Warren's checked in for the Timberwolves. Now, he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. After their big trade with Rudy Gobert, it's taken a while for the Wolves to gel. Gobert said, quote, it just comes with the time and trust. Basketball is never perfect, but we can punish all kinds of defenses by making the right play and finding the open man. With that mindset, we are going to keep getting better. I'm confident in our abilities. Brian? Well, that, that's the way you have to look at it, Allie. Thank you. A title-winning point guard, Kyle Lowry, making the right choice there. Lowry against Conley. And it's good for two. Conley. Conley's got six in the quarter. And so Lowry will bring it up for the 76ers. It's a three-point game. Coming in hot. Buddy Hill makes a big play to the hoop, and it pays off big time. The Timberwolves have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. To the inside, Miller. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Pass to Harris. Bamba on the screen on Warren. Down low. And it's Bamba finishing strong. As his career has gone on, the vision, let's say it's improved for Harris. Daniels, that's good. 
And the Timberwolves lead by three. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Inside. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his bounce. Right side, Conley. Here's Miller. Off the mark there with a three. For Philadelphia, they've gone an outstanding 7-of-7 seven seven so far in the second quarter. Harris passes to Heald. Bamba, the screen on Warren. Heald from outside. He can't get it to go. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. It's McDaniels on the wing. Pounded by Harris. Warren against Heald. Warren, the pass to Reed. And he banks in the layup. Reed's got his first points of the night. Showing he's more than just a score. Warren is good at finding his teammates when they're uncovered. Here's Lowry. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Minnesota in the lead. Outside Conley. Out left to the wing. Pass to Miller. Outside McDaniels. Five on the clock. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. McDaniels got six. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Here's Martin. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Timberwolves ahead, leading by three. And we'll be back right after this. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. One of the stories here, Jaden McDaniels getting it done today. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Kelly Oubre out there with Robert Covington. And it's Embiid in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the group for Nick Nurse getting going here in the second half. From deep, Melton buries it from three. Now that makes it a tie ball game. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long over. a great look provided by MB. The big man just dropping down. Oubre against Edwards to the paint. Gobert. The contact, not enough to bother Gobert at the rim. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Pass to Covington. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. A long, strong forward. Covington shows the ability to finish inside. Edwards against Oubre. And it's blocked by Embiid. Oubre finds Embiid. Exerting himself. Embiid. Great job rewarding Embiid for running the floor. Minnesota, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Kicks it out, Towns. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. And the Timberwolves call time here. Timeout ball for Minnesota. And Texas fans, now on the court is your hype squad. Get loud and let them hear it. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. They lead by four. Melton left side. Boom! He jams it straight down. And one move ahead of the 
defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Here's Towns. It's Edwards on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Tries to spin move. Here's Alexander Walker. Gets the three to the fall. Alexander, Alexander Walker. Walker's gotten his second bucket on the night. Taking people to school with moves like that. And then B throws it down. Defense looks helpless against Embiid on that slam. He's just too physical. Here's Towns. There's the drive. An easy two on the layup. Towns has got five. And want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Axie passes to Embiid. And stolen by Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. And he drops it in from the low post. Alexander Walker's got five points now in the quarter. Two minutes remaining in the third. Embiid a screen on Edwards. Maxi passes to Embiid. Misses from short range. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. And the 76ers going with a whole new group out there. Here's Conley with the drive. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Conley's got his third bucket of the night. And Conley loves to get into the lane using his quickness and athleticism to perfection right there. Here in the second half, these teams still neck and neck. I really like how each team is matching the other's intensity. On the wing, Alexander Walker, guarded by Heald. Here's Miller. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Timberwolves lead by one. Woo, just selling the defense on the pump fake. Baba, a screen on Conley. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Mike Conley. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. One minute left in the third quarter. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Oh, he throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hop, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. Pass to Miller. Here's Alexander Walker. Right through the D for the layup. Alexander, Alexander Walker's got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. A maestro running the two-man game. Now Lowry with textbook guard play there. Outside Conley. Pass to Reed. Here's Alexander Walker. Guarded by Heald. Reed sets a screen. Alexander Walker, the pass to Miller. Shot clock at six. To the middle. It's tipped. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Here's Martin. Ah. Oh, and he misses the dunk. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. McDaniels out there with Nas Reed. Then it's Miller. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Conley in at the point. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. You can't question the desire of these teams. It's going to be difficult for either side to get separation. And an intentional foul right there. And the 76ers going with a whole new group out there. Personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. And here's Edwards. 
Shot clock at five. Count that bucket. And you know he has the floater in the bag, so Edwards decided to deploy it there. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Gobert with a screen on Oubre. Here's Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Rudy, a monster inside. And just so mobile at his size. Once Gobert sets the screen, he rolls hard to the right spot. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Stolen by Melton. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. And he lays it in off the breakaway. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Here's Edwards. Softly drops in the floater. And the Timberwolves lead by three. Outstanding work in close. Edwards is just so confident from this area. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. You've got to be impressed with how assertive they are on offense, continuing to cut hard to the rim time and time again. Yeah, something else they're doing in this game is striking from long range. The defense just hasn't been able to keep them off the arc tonight. Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. At the offensive end, Gobert isn't always this aggressive, so it's really good to see. And Maxi, here we go. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Back to the basics, unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> That's true. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards has got six points in the quarter. Wow, Edwards almost makes it look effortless. Like the whole team wasn't holding their breath right there. Left side, Oubre. And so he draws the hand in a game this close. They're going to challenge the call. Coach does not agree with it, and he wants him to take another look at the monitor. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen Oubre Jr. Even after the video review, there's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, the bad and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Pass to Maxi. Clock at six. Covington, a screen on Edwards. Here's Maxi. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Attacking in a big moment. Maxi is not holding back. Edwards against Oubre. Towns, a screen on Oubre. Pass to Gobert. Edwards spins back to Gobert over to the wing here's Towns and it's good with time running down on the shot clock and the Timberwolves lead by three here's Maxi going inside and there's the slam dunk to finish it off turning on the Jets Maxi found the lane and made them pay Edwards against Oubre. Towns on the screen. It's stolen by Maxi. Covington with it. Towns covering. And the jam by Covington. Oh, the experience coming into play. Covington has the confidence to take and make big time shots. Inside, Gobert. Money. <laughs> Talk about it's stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters. 
to Embiid. And he parries it. And who else do you want in this situation? It's all about Embiid, and he's ready to carry that load. Nick by Gobert. To the inside. Oh, the tower oh, with the oh. power move. And the trust this team has in Gobert. They know he looks to come up huge in the clutch. Here's Maxi. Now here's Embiid. Over Gobert. Embiid misses. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. And they go to the intentional foul. Second team foul. Here's Minnesota. It's a one-point game. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And this is where leaders come through. Can Edwards cash in at the strike? We'll see. Embiid finds Maxi. Pass to heel. Launches it. Can't get the three to fall.
so Philadelphia will get the first possession. Oh, look at the 76ers starting group. In at the guard spot, Maxi and Melton. Martin is out there with Oubre, and it's Embiid in at the center. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Back to Young. Capella with a screen on Melton. Young finds Capella. Five on the clock. Young against Melton. Young's shot is off. Now the 76ers with it. Melton passes to Ubre. Gets the three-pointer to fall. A, a legitimate sniper from distance. Love seeing Ubre Jr. shoot it with such precision. The shot. Young, no good. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Martin with the screen for Ubre. Off target with his three. A slow start for Atlanta in this one. It's a five-point game. And Griffin, here we go. Capella with a screen on Melton. Young against Melton. And Young kicks to Murray. The train. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Martin the pass to Melton. Martin with the screen for Melton. Buries it from three-point range. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Steve, thinking back to the 2018 draft, Atlanta made a trade that day with major ramifications. Kevin, yes, they did. At the core of it, it was Young for Doncic. It might have been easy to second-guess at first, but Young has had an enormous impact on the Hawks. People worried about Trey Young's size entering the league. Could he stand the punishment? He has answered that question. And Trey Young may have taken it personally that he was drafted fifth in that stacked 2018 draft. And GA, that draft was full of superstars. But you're right, he's played the most NBA games out of the top five picks in that draft. Capella with a screen on Oubre. Murray, good. A tough cover because Murray thrives in the pick and roll. He can beat you with the shot or the pass. Here's Maxi. Takes it inside. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. And the dunk by Capella. Great vision. Murray's such a complete player. Two Melton sets a screen for Oubre. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Capella sets a screen from her for the three. Second chance effort. And that's going to be a travel. The 76ers leading by six. Maxi finds Oubre. Maxi looking it over. And the 76ers tack on two more. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. Here's Young. Pass to Capella. Back to Young. On the wing. And the dunk by Capella. He is active on the offensive glass. Clint Capella will punish you for not putting a body on him. Maxi into the lane. And slam dunk by Maxi. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And the dunk by Capella. Ooh, the timing of Young's passes in pick and roll. Absolutely impeccable. Here's Martin. Outside Maxi. 
Launches a three. Another three for Philadelphia. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Capella with a screen on Melton. Melton against Young. The feed to Capella. Good on the shot. That's just strength right there. Capella taking it and working through it all. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Now Lowry. Let's it go with the three. Doesn't go that time. It's tipped. And so it's Philadelphia with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the 76ers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint. Something coaches always love to see. In at small and power forward, it's Hunter and Bay. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Matthews. And it's Okongwu in at the center position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. Great positioning on the putback. Ooh, challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tip in. Here's Lowry driving to the basket. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know he's only six feet tall. Kyle Lowry, though, is fearless attacking the rim. And Smitty, what's the intangible that really sets Kyle Lowry apart from the others? GA, his toughness. It's elite. You look at his size, but he plays bigger than his size. He can do things physically that most guards can't. Kept alive. Okongwu. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Defended by Covington. Just five on the clock. Okongwu with the screen for Matthews. And a miss there on the triple. The 76ers leading by eight. Bamba a screen on Bogdanovich. Lowry passes to Bamba. Outside Covington. Covington setting the pick for Lowry. Pass to Bamba. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Back to Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. Not just a score. Bondanovich shows excellent feel as a playmaker. That was a nice find. Lowry kicks to Covington. Outside Lowry. Here's the three. Okongwu grabs the board. The Hawks trail by six. Here's Bogdanovich. Takes it off the glass. Sweet little inside shot by Bogey. Adjusting his touch for a close range bucket. Covington a screen on Bogdanovich. Pass to Bamba. Got a piece of it. Okongwu with it. Lowry picks him up. Here's Bogdanovich. It's good. Now, just a two-point 76ers lead. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And the basket by Lowry. You know, Steve, the last couple years, uh, league-wide, scoring is way up for teams, but also for individual players. Uh, what's your read on that? Well, I think from the scoring situation, uh, Defense is totally different than when we played. It's more free flowing. Also, the three-point shot, they're taking way more three-point shots. Long rebounds, they have fast break, more fast break and transition points. But it all comes down to shoot with three. More threes mean more points. Okongwu with the screen for Bogdanovich. Okongwu kicks to Hunter. Okongwu with a screen on Harris. And 
and Hunter, here we go. Again, the Hawks, good for two. New players entering the league sometimes don't challenge you from mid-range, but Hunter is excellent from there. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Shooting for Philadelphia, Kyle Lowry. Two shots. He throw good, Lowry. He's an incredible competitor. Kyle Lowry loves the challenge. He'll fight you tooth and nail. Teammates, they feed off his energy. Matthews passes Wilkong. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? That one drops for him. A oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Bogdanovich dishes to Hunter. Fifty-six seconds left now here in the second. Shot clock at six. The Atlanta needs to get off the shot here. And Okonwu slams it in. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Here's Lowry. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lowry's got seven now in this quarter. Lowry is just so quick with the ball with both hands that he can lose a defender in a hurry. Okongwu with the screen for Bogdanovich. Bay against Heel. Okongwu with a screen on Heel. Bay, no good. The 76ers leading by five. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Healed outside. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got three assists in the game. A, a catch and shoot specialist. Heald has a quality jump shot and really makes quick decisions. Matthew. That'll do it for the first half. The end of the 76ers half. lead by seven. Yeah. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what can... All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. You look at Tyrese Maxey in this one, guys. He has been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Taking a look at the 76ers. In at the guard spot, Maxey and Melton. Embiid is out there with Martin, and it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. And here's Young on the arc. Another three for Atlanta. Yeah, back-to-back -back threes. Trey Young welcomes this duel because they're usually to his advantage. Maxi finds Martin. Martin the screen. Here's Maxi. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Trailing by four. Launches it. Drains it from beyond the arc. Young's got 12. Unlimited range and unlimited confidence. Trey Young has no confidence. Basket counts. This is number two. Tyrese Maxey. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Capella with a screen on Melton. Young against Melton. Capella sets a screen for Young to the left side wing. Here's Murray. Here's Capella. With the clock winding down and too much time in the lane, they get called for the three second violation. You can tolerate gas like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. And one of the great rebounders in this league, Clint Capella, plays that role as well as anyone. Greg, on a per-minute basis, few players are better. 
Sharp anticipation works at it, and many of his points come from the offensive glass. Young, good. Guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Here's Maxi and slam dunk by Maxi. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Capella with a screen on Melton. Young's shot is good. This is becoming routine, knocking down shots from well beyond the arc, and he makes it look effortless. And the dunk by MB. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. <laughs> in this half, a more entertaining one. The pace is picked up, tougher defense, better ball move. Offensive rebound, the kick out to Young. Capella sets a screen for Young, back to Capella. Young left side, uses the glass that time, and it's good. Young's got 20 points. Trey is just going off. So aggressive on the offensive end. Embiid with the screen on Murray. Maxi passes to Embiid, and the dunk by Embiid. I'll tell you, at his size, once he gets it in there, it's over. The Hawks trail by three, and so they choose to intentionally foul really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. And Bogdanovich kicks to Okongwu. Gets an open look and hits. Okongwu's now got 10 points in the game. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. What you love about Lowry is his physicality in the lane. It's amazing at his height what he can do. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Bogdanovich passes to Bay. He dishes it to Okongwu. Knocked loose. And now Covington running the floor all by himself. Intelligence, anticipation, and talent. That's Robert Covington. Okongwu with the screen for Bogdanovich. And again, Atlanta with the triple. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. And Bogdanovich throws it down. Love that from Bogdanovich. Finishing with power. Bogdanovich against Lauer. Now the pass to heel. A three. The shot's good on the assist by Lauer. Lowry's got five assists tonight. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Lowry against Bogdanovich. Now here is Lowry, D right on him. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting from Philadelphia, Mo Bamba. Two shots. And that one falls for Bamba. You know, the comparisons to Rudy Gobert are understandable. Bamba's insane reach really helps on both ends of the court. Here's Bufkin. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Big hops from the backcourt. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game, GA, going in their direction. It's a tight contest. Those type of plays can fire up your team. And, and as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. 76ers ahead. They're up by two. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. 
And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. The post pairing, Bay along with O'Connor. Then there's DeAndre Hunter. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Bufkin in at the two spot. So that's the Hawks five. And that one's good, Maxi. That kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And here's the fast break. Here's Embiid. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. And the 76ers lead by seven. Breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the 76ers. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands, causing a lot of steals. Uh, another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. And a guy who fills up the stat sheet across the board, Steve, DeJounte Murray. His length and athleticism shows up at both ends, Kevin. A good rebounder for a guard. And beyond the numbers, he comes up with some clutch plays. Murray against Maxi. Inside, Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. And you do not want to be on the receiving end of that. MB throwing it down with some fun. For three, Murray drills it from outside. Murray's got six points in the corner. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Embiid with a screen on Murray. It's good. Nice touch there for Maxi. Three Maxing points. baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Wasted no time on that one. With the lift Murray gets on his jumper, he can get a clean look from mid-range at any time. Here's Maxi. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Maxi. Maxi's got 26 points. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Shoots from 12. Here's Capella. Outside for Murray. Capella sets a screen for Murray. Five on the clock. And again, it's Atlanta. That's a money shot for Murray. I like the improvements he's made to his mechanics. Over time, it should start to feel more natural. And now we've got the intentional foul. Atlanta making a switch here. Young's checked in. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, and we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. Wow, look at how quick he flashes to the rim there for the finish. Capella with a screen on Melton. Out to the wing. Here's Murray. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. You won't see this young man turn down big shots. Murray believes in himself, and so does this team. And stolen by Murray. Fires the three. Another three for Atlanta. You know that he's always going to find a way to get the ball in tight situations like that and knock it down. Here's Maxi. Count the basket. Maxi's got 30 points. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. And it goes out of bounds. The last touch by MB. Ogong Rules checked in for Clint to cut. Shot from the wing. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The composure on Embiid's face. He knows there's no room for error. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for the Hawks. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Two-possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Okongwu with a screen on Udre. Money! 
That's a good read by Murray. Not having to think about it, he just reacts. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the 76 And they call an illegal screen here. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Young dishes to Hunter. Murray again through Bray. Murray, the best. Will Conwood. Yes! Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. And B with a screen on Murray. Watch he finds Oubre. And B in the corner. That one rolling around and runs out. Crucial possession with time ticking down. He had an opportunity to take the lead on this possession. Okongwu with a screen on Maxi. Young from outside. Right between the eyes! Incredible. Often the smallest guy on the floor. Young consistently comes up with the biggest plays. And the 76ers call time here. They're down by two. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Eyes your thoughts? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. But I'm curious to see, will they go for a two to tie or a three to win it all? Melton sets a screen for heel. No good from three points.
assist. Tonight's game is a great example of that. Two teams with a lot of assist. What you like about both of these teams is every player has an opportunity to touch the basketball. And generally speaking, the more engaged you become, the more you touch it. Doesn't mean everybody gets equal shot opportunities, but these teams play a pretty style of basketball. Now Atlanta's starting five. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Clint Capella out there with Johnson. And it's Hunter in at the three. Refusing to give up on the glass, Capella truly works for his rebounds. Here's Tatum, following the score by Atlanta. Holiday looking for an opening. Outside Tatum. Hits the trifecta. What a weapon the three has become for Jason Tatum. Look out. Capella screen on Holiday. Young against Holiday. The three. Young misses. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Doris, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward. Now here's Young. Six to shoot. And Porzingis with the block. Porzingis 7-3 says not here and not now. Gets stolen by Johnson. Young with it. Capella screen on Holiday. Young. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Outside, Brown. There's Tatum with the three. Sinks the tray. Tatum's got six points. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. Young way outside. And right away. They match it with a three-pointer of their own. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Yeah, no problems knocking that one down. Give him eight points now. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Here's Murray. And it's Atlanta scoring again. And Boston has possession. They trail by one. Murray against Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Let's go with a three. And again, Boston with the triple. Well, the three-point shooting of Kristaps Porzingis is so prolific. You've got to guard him out there. Down low. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Holiday against Murray. Here's Tatum. Give him eight. Another one falls for Boston. Yeah, Jason Tatum's jumper is just so pure. This guy is on point with the midi right now. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. VA, he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. Three-pointer, and the Celtics have another three. When you allow Jason Tatum to get going early and to build momentum offensively, it can be a scary night. Capella, screen on Holiday. Young misses. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Here's Tatum, and 
Finished off by Tatum. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. If Trey Young can change the course of a game with his outside shooting. Launches it from deep. And Tatum with the basket. On the assist from Holiday. Tatum's got 18 points in the game. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Capella screen on Holiday. Young, the pass to Capella. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. There's Tatum with the three. Pass, ah, first miss, making him seven for eight. Young against Holiday. Screen by Capella. There's Young with the three. Pure from three-point range. For three. 11 points in the game. To become a prolific scorer like Young, you need to hit some of those difficult ones. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. Matthews, he's checked in for the Hawks. On the court for the Hawks. They had a Kongwu, the duo inside. Wesley Matthews out there with Bogdan Bogdanovich. And it's Hunter in at the small forward position. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. And it's Tatum missing. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Now here's a Kongwu. And a miss there on the triple. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. The Celtics have terrific depth. They have a number of reserves who could start for other teams. All-star Jason Tatum said those guys sacrificing coming off the bench, I think that just speaks volumes to the commitment that we have to be our best and to playing to our standard every night. Brian? That's what it takes, Ali, right? Thank you. Springer, he's checked in for Brown. A Kongu, a screen on white. Here's Bogdanovich. Hits the front of the rim and out. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Wow, Kristaps Porzingis puts the ball on the floor, gets right to the cup. And the Hawks with possession here. The Celtics making their last shot. Here we go. Tatum with room to shoot. Releases from the wing and drills it. Tatum's got 20 points. And so it's Bogdanovich with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Eight-point game. Akangwu with screen on white. Bogdanovich. Akangwu with the bucket. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Tatum a screen on Bogdanovich. Pass to Tatum. And here's Porzingis. Hunter covering. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Tatum. Porzingis in the post. A Kong Wu on him. Oh, send it home, Derek White. Well, Porzingis does a nice job looking for the window to make his teammate better. Pretty pass. It's been a career of ups and downs for Porzingis, but he seems to have found himself now, Doris. Well, let's think about the start of his career with the New York organization. He was off to a tremendous start, then the injury sets in, and obviously there's a physical and mental battle you've got to overcome. But boy, now that he's moved on, he is starting to become a force. There's Tatum with the three. That one goes. And that's his ninth made shot in 12 attempts. <laughs> How about the answer from Jason Tatum? Say it with your chest, Jason. And he commits the intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Al Horford checked in for Boston. Jalen Brown comes in for Tatum. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Griffin, he's checked in for Hunter. Bogdanovich, that's good. Bigger than your average guard, Bogdanovich is 220 pounds. He can win some battles there inside. To the paint. Here's Walsh. 
There's the whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Sadiq Bey. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. The Hawks making a switch here. Murray's checked in. It's hauled in by White. The Celtics with the lead. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Brown, a screen on Bay. Back to White. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Shot on the wing. No good. A bit long that time. Atlanta's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Okongwu, a screen on White. Murray from outside. Another three for Atlanta. And using the pick and roll to perfection. I love how crafty Murray is in these situations. Outside White, nifty move, and White gets right to the 10. It's fun for us to sit back and watch him go to work, but that's our job, not the defenses. They left him too open on that play. And Griffin slams it in. And that's true unselfishness right there. Murray outstanding feed to the open teammate. Brown finds White. Horford outside, 4-3. Hey, Horford from range. Um, this is how Al Horford has adjusted to make himself a modern NBA big. In rhythm, off the catch, beautiful. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's a Kongu. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Free throw good, Kongu. Sets checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for White. Johnson, he's checked in for Atlanta. Trey Young comes in for Matthews. And the big fella with the skill level showing a soft touch at the line. Holiday from long range. Kongu with the rebound. Murray drives in. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three point play. Team foul. Shooting for and DeJounte Murray is truly the complete package. He does a little of this and a little of that. Anything you need out there, he can make it happen. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Celtics leading by three. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. The star wing pair, it's Brown and Tatum outside. O'Shea Brissett out there with Al Horford. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. That's the Boston Five. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game, Brian. Allie, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. With how great a shooter Young is, defenders bite on that pump fake a lot. And both free throws good for Young. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Boston's gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Horford outside. The deep three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist of the night. I'll tell you, for a guy who attempted less than one three-pointer per game for the first eight years of his career, how good is Al Horford from range? Here's Young. 13 points in the game. Drills it from deep. 
Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Tatum feeling it out a bit. Tatum. Oh, Jason Tatum. That's why this guy is capable of some amazing finishes. Jason Tatum, my goodness. Capella, screen on Holiday. Young can't hit. Boston's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Tatum with a screen. The drive by Holiday. Pass to Brissett. Back to Holiday. Reset the screen. Fires the three. And again, Boston with the triple. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. There's Young with the three. That is Trey's shot. The three. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. Well, Doris, when he's off the court, Jalen Brown is an outspoken advocate for education. What I love about Jalen B.A. is that he's about so much more than basketball. This young man has a passion for learning. It's a very admirable cause he has tried to be outspoken for. You love the superstar level effort between the lines and outside the lines. And now we've got an intentional foul. And the Celtics making a change here. Springer's checked in. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Young, the pass to Murray. Jaden Springer. And there's just one foul now away from the middle. And it's a completely new group for the Hawks. Third team foul. Substitution on the court. Up top, Griffin. He's covered by Holiday. Bogdanovich. Good on the 13 footer. Bogdanovich has got his second basket on the night. Well within his arsenal. Bogdanovich doesn't hesitate when given the mid range jump shot. Up top, Horford. Outside, Brown. Back to Horford. Six on the shot clock. Atlanta with a rebound. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Well, a careless foul. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. And credit to Bogdanovich for not giving up there. He gets a shot off and wins a foul for his trouble. And he's good on the second. White, he's checked in for Boston. Three shots. And he nails the third. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. There's the double with a Kongwu. Here's Horford. And Horford towers it home. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. A Kongwu, a screen on Brown. From the wing. And he connects with a jumper. Bogdanovich has got seven points here in the quarter. And both teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. Screen by Horford. Here's Springer. Three-pointer off the mark. The Hawks trailing. Outside Bogdanovich. For the lead. Griffin on the wing. Bogdanovich finds Griffin. For three. Hits a three-pointer. Griffin's got five. And what a wild one this has been. Eight lead changes, some big plays, and some big mistakes, too. White, the pass to Brissett. The kick out to White. Let's the three fly. The rebound by the Hawks. A Kongu's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Matthews. Outside Bogdanovich. Picked up by a Kongwu. The three ball. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. A big time effort for Trey Young. 
All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, all about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Hawks. Bayana Kongwu, the duo inside. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Wesley Matthews. And it's Griffin in at the three. He drops it from range. I'd say a veteran shot right there. Al Horford immediately answering back with a three of his own. Go ahead, big fella. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. Second. That'll be a second foul of the game. First team foul. Substitutions for the Celtics. Now here's Bogdanovich. Jason Tatum. Banked it in off the glass. And the Hawks lead by four. <laughs> they have a never give up attitude. No doubt keeping it very close. They're going to have to step up even more to get over the hump here. Hunters checked in for Griffin. Coming on to the floor for the Hawks. Number Outside Tatum. Takes a three. They get it again. Horford gets it done inside. That's what we call attacking the glass with aggression and power. Al Horford, the second chance opportunity. Here's Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Now here's Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Don't sleep on Jason Tatum's athleticism. This guy attacks the basket with ferocity. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. White with the steal. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. And some changes here for the Celtics. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Horford. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for White. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Johnson comes in for Bay. DeJounte Murray's checked in for Matthews. And it's Young in for Bogdanovich. Now here's Tatum. Just five on the clock. And Tatum drills the three. Such a quick shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. Pass to Murray. Back to Young. Capella screen on Holiday. The teardrop. And it's Capella with the jam. Yeah, defensively, if you come off someone, Young will find him. Murray against Holiday. Porzingis with it. Launches a three. Capella with a rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Young and Porzingis with the block. Here's Springer, covered by Johnson. Tatum against Hunter. The three is up. And Tatum is good for three. Tatum's got 36 points. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. We have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks too. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. Jason Tatum under duress. Big moment, no problem. Capella screen on Holiday. Outside Johnson. That's it. Coming off an assist from Young. Johnson's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Porzingis sets a screen. Here's Tatum. And Tatum fires one home. You see the level of verticality that Jason Tatum brings to the table. Nice. Young will pass to Murray. Another three for Atlanta. And in these big moments, DeJounte Murray is a great option. Just rises to the occasion. Now here's Holiday. Outside Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Hunter. Here's the floater. And 
and it's in. Talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Young against Holiday. Young, the pass to Capella. The kick out to Young. Three-pointer. Oh, nails the triple! You see the trust Young's guys have in him. When they need a bucket, he gets it for them. Porzegas with a screen on Hunter. Tatum with it. And Capella picks him up defensively. He stops Porzegas in a big spot, not an inch of back down. That is beautiful. Capella, screen on Holiday. Young against Holiday. Shoots from the right block. Here's Capella. The kick out to Young. Shot clock at six. Back to Capella. Second shot opportunity. Count it! Big time play from Capella. This guy knows how to deliver in these moments. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They trail by one. One second left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? They've got one last chance to win it. It's got to be a catch-and-shoot off the inbound play. They don't have time for a second pass.
teams, there is quite a bit of talent coming off the bench. Yeah, Kevin, both sides really rely on their bench scoring, and that's a luxury that very few teams, and certainly the best team in the league, have. It'll be interesting to see which one of these second units can create that advantage. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Then it's Holiday, and there's Porzingis, and it's Walsh in at the four spot. Side Holiday and the three ball is good. Now, Drew Holiday can make enough threes to make your defense nervous. And Murray, here we go. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Love the selflessness. Tatum willing to give it up whenever he sees an open teammate. And watch out, you don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. And Brent, what do you say when it comes to Jamal Murray? It's all about staying healthy from here on out. Well, we've seen both sides of it, right, Greg? When he's healthy, they're good. When Jamal Murray is not in the lineup and not confident in what he could provide to the lineup, not so much. So when Jamal is healthy, Jamal's a superstar. Left side, Porter. Gordon with a screen on Tatum. Here's Porter going inside, lays it up and banks it in. Porter at 6'10". You just forget about that kind of size because of the proportions of his body. He moves so well. Pass to Tatum. Three-pointer. Porter pulls it in. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. And the foul on Drew Holland. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Jokic with his screen on Brown. Called well caught for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, not a volume shooter, but the three-point percentages from KCP, they're solid. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Porter, no luck. Austin is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Down low. Porzingis finds Holiday. Just five to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And here's Przingis for a three. He's now two for three with that miss. And break the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity. I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. Brown the pass to Persingas. Count that bucket. Persingas has got his third basket of the night right there. And you see the unselfishness right there. Brown wanting to keep his teammates involved. Here's Gordon driving the lane. Uses the glass to finish the lane. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Brown deciding where to go with it. And here's Przingis for a three. That doesn't go either for Przingis. The Nuggets have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Finishing up on the changes for Denver. DeAndre Jordan's check in for Jokic. Zeke Naji comes in for Porter. Christian Brown's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Jackson in for Murray. Tatum a screen. It's Brown with the drive and finish off by Brown. And Brown is so aggressive, a masterful penetrator who abuses defenders on the drive. And the basket by Gordon. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Tatum setting the pick for Brown. 
outside Tatum. Over, over, over. Shoots it up. And another basket for Boston. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Jackson against Holiday. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Gordon dishes to Jordan. Outside for Jackson. To the middle. Here's Magic. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. Defense that one on Horford. And good recognition from Reggie. Open teammate. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And stolen by Jordan. Three seconds left. And Jordan throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam tipped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. it has to be and so it's Denver bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll return shortly. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Tons of points off penetration so far, guys. They're driving at will on the defense, just taking whatever they want. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, that bodes well. We've got Reggie Jackson, and it's Watson in its small forward. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. Shoots, and it's White missing. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Jackson, and the dunk by Jackson. It's easy to forget about Jackson's bunnies, but he's more than happy to remind you. The pass to Horford. To the left wing. Springer, the pass to Brock. Second chance shot, and it's denied. And here comes Jackson, leading the fast break. Launches the three. A nice shot by Brown. Brown's got the lead up to 12 now for Denver. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Brown, no good. And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for Denver. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Here's Watson, and Horford pulls it down. For Boston, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, back in grade school, when Jason Tatum told folks his NBA goals, they'd often suggest a backup plan. And he said, I always would tell them, I don't have one. I'm going to make this work regardless. Nothing else matters. Kevin? Oh, I like that. It's worked out, David. Thanks so much. You know, bro, we know how intense NBA practices can get, but how often do tempers boil over? Well, practices are where you improve. And it's also a chance for guys who are on the bench to let the coaches know they're ready for more minutes. So. That competitive environment is going to cause some dust-ups, and trust me, Kevin, you don't hear about most of the things that go on behind closed doors. And it's White missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Porter in the corner. Jacks up a three. Rebound, Boston. There is some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. The Nuggets leading by 11. This is it to Jokic. It's stolen by Brown. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Love how Brown distributes the ball, keeping his eyes up at all times. And you hear it often, Brent, these Nuggets are a complete team. 
Well, you have a historic superstar in Jokic and this incredibly deep and talented supporting cast. Got a great, experienced coaching staff. This team has everything you need to win at the highest level, and they're proving they can do that. And Michael Porter Jr., just one of those guys that has a versatile scoring menu. Terrific at executing at all three levels. Screen by Porzingis. In the corner, Tatum with it. A three from Tatum. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Murray, the pass to Porter. Back to Murray. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Takes the three. The Nuggets with another miss. Celtics trail by eight, and the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Denver making a switch here. Aji's checked in. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Boston. Outside for Murray. Here's Gordon. That's in there. Murray with the assist. And that's now six points for Aaron Gordon. And Murray with an instinctual play there. He has that ability. He can see the play. It evolves. And then he makes a quick decision. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. Rebound by Murray. Denver leading by 10. Pass to Jokic. Jokic rising up. Gifted ball handler, the big man Jokic, fantastic at carving up defenses. Persingas against Jokic. Persingas with a screen on Murray. Back to Persingas from the arc. Hits it from three point range. Persingas has got nine points. Does so much out there to stretch out the defense when he's out on the perimeter and he drains the triple. Pass to Caldwell Pope. This one for three. Good on the three point shot. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to 12 now for the Nuggets. Retaliation triple from KCP. Nice shot by Porzingis. Both teams running perimeter oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Chris just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. The three from Tatum. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so we conclude the first half. The Nuggets on top. They lead by 12. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And it's been a clinic out there by Kristaps Porzingis. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Starting off the second half, here's Joe Missoula's five. We've got Tatum. Porzingis is out there with Holiday. And it's Springer in a shooting guard. There's a screen by Porter. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Tatum. Springer the pass to Persingas. And there's the drive. Yep, that one goes in there. Persingas has got 14 points for the game. And the coaching staff better alert their defense to Porzingis and how comfortable he is right now on offense. Jordan's checked in for Nikola Jokic. First team foul. Checking in the game for your Nuggets. Number six. Jordan sets the screen for Caldwell Pope. Good on the triple. He's got nine. But a deep shot, but hey, KCP no stranger to knocking down shots like that. And Holiday kicks to Porzingis. 
Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Assist goes to. Holiday's got four assists in the game. Ask any player who's the best perimeter defender, they'll all say Drew Holiday. Uh, Drew is elite on that end of the floor. He can force turnovers, disrupt and just damage plays and challenge all the shots. I think you've lost him, and he's right there with you. Man, there are not many times where DJ does not just rip that rim down. Out left of the wing, and here's Przingis for a three. Denver grabs the miss. Jordan's got his fourth rebound in this one. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are a powerhouse, but they also know they're going to get every team's best shot, and they've got to be ready. All-star Jalen Brown says comfort will kill you. These teams aren't waiting around to let us win the game. You've got to go out and prove it every single night. Success is earned every single night. Kevin, I hope to earn success tonight with my sideline report. <laughs> David, you are in the Hall of Fame, my man. You have earned it. Thank you so much. Down low. And finished off by the quarter. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Holiday against Jackson. Porzingis with a screen on Jackson. Beyond the arc. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by Holiday. Porzingis has got seven points for the quarter. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Denver. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. There's Porter with the three. Another three for Denver. Well, Porter Jr. knows how good he is from that range, so not hesitate. Jackson against Holiday. The deep three from Porzingis. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Denver leading by 15. Jackson dishes to Caldwell Pope. Stolen by Holiday. Here's Porzingis with a fast break chance. Outside Tatum. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Boston. So both teams making some changes here. Substitution on the floor. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. The shot's good. That's what makes Tatum so dangerous. Offensively, he doesn't need the ball in his hands to be effective. Now Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. He just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Let's it go from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. Murray's got nine. And Murray's showing some smarts right there. Some good patience in that pick and roll. A three from Porzingis. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. surveying the D and again it's Denver and the effort offensively from Jamal pays off that time Celtics trail by 20 White the pass to Tatum over Gordon and there's the bucket from Tatum nine points in the game so far now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one he's been on his game it's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up one second separating the shot clock and game clock. Murray, no good. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. White, good. Derek White, three. And so it's the Denver Nuggets finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. 
it's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Murray and Brown are the guards. Then there's Gordon. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. It's Naji in at the four-man position. That's the group on the four for Denver. Porzingis with a soft jump shot there. Nice touch. Murray against White. And it's Murray penetrating. And it's Murray with the jam. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Porzingis, that's a two. Again, the Celtics good for two. Well, that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. Teardrop shot. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. <laughs> that's a tricky little move there as Murray found a little bit of space and then got that floater on. And the dunk by Porzingis. Man, way to finish Boston and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. And the Nuggets with some changes. Jokic has checked in for Jordan. Porter comes in for Zeke Naji. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Christian Brown. Murray outside. Porter with a screen for Murray. Goes up on the wing. The kick out to Porter. And again, Denver with the triple. To set him up, Porter's going to knock him down. He's a terrific shooter who can do some damage from anywhere. And here's Tatum for three. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic just got four rebounds in this game. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. That one falls. Such a sweet touch there from Jokic. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. They trail by 18. Takes a three. Cranes the three-pointer. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Shot on the wing. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Jokic has got four this quarter. Celtics trail by 17. Porzingis way outside. Porter pulls it in. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. From downtown, the pass to Murray. Porter, a screen on one. And another shot. That's not going to go. He's four for ten. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Shoots the three. Hits the three-point bomb. White's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Celtics. Tatum is all about doing what's best for the team. Superb as a ball mover in terms of finding his teammates. Jackson, he's checked in for Jamal Murray. Austin also with the sub. Holiday's checked in. And here's Jackson. 143 left here in the fourth quarter. Picks it out to Gordon. Fires from deep. The offensive rebound. Caldwell Pope outside. There's the triple. The shot misses. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Well, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And another miss by Denver. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. And the Celtics, another three. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. Well, he's doing everything he can to make them competitive. And by everything, I mean draining threes. And the ball travels out of his hands. It was last touched by Jokic. Now, I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one... Aaron's pass. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. 
And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Austin A going to switch here. Tatum's checked in. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. And it's Jokic missing. So it's the Celtics now. Eight-point game. From deep. It counts. Jason oh, Tatum. and that cuts the lead to just five. And let's give some credit to Tatum. Doesn't crack when the pressure's on. He just seems to embrace the moment. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Count that one. Yeah, well done to finish that one. Guys, let's just go ahead and call this one. It's over. You want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? Three. My goodness, what a move there to lose the defender. Got him on his heels, and then he made it look easy from there on in. Jackson with it.
for the underdog because there's nothing to lose. Nobody's expecting you to prevail, and it gives you a chance to play, I think, with a lot of freedom. Let's take a look at our starters for Denver. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Porter Jr. and Jokic down low. And it's Gordon in at the three, the small forward. Well, you gotta miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Right wing. Back to Porter. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind him. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. Browns checked in for the Nuggets. Next <laughs> of stalwart McDaniels causing a turnover there. Jaden affects the game on this end of the floor quite nicely. Now here's Murray. Jokic with a screen on Edwards. Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. This is what the team relies on Gobert for, clearing the glass and finishing the play. Here's Porter. Another shot. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. Towns, left side. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Gordon. Just over a minute and a half in. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards loves those long-range bombs. He's a confident shooter. After falling in the first round of the 2023 playoffs, Clark, the Timberwolves still have some work to do. Yep, they were hoping the Rudy Gobert trade, B.A., would elevate them higher. But this is a team that still needs to grow and develop more. I think their front office is going to stay aggressive in tweaking the roster. Here's Brown. The three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Edwards against Murray. Pass to Alexander Walker. To the inside. Town. Oh, that's good. Length, size, touch. That's how Towns just dominates you inside. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. He slams it home and gets some extra camera time chilling on the rim. <laughs> yeah, he did spend a little time up there, didn't he? The refs are much more lenient with that kind of situation than they used to be. And it's Tell with the power finish. And, you know, you give Edwards credit for making the right decision there, feeding his teammate. Smart, good basketball. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Najee, he's checked in for Denver. Jackson comes in for Murray. Here's Brown. Here he goes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had the foul and keep him from converting the easy buck. And what separates the Nuggets on offense is their efficiency card. You're right on it, B.A. You rarely see them take bad shots. I mean, they are a well-oiled offensive machine. Adamant about getting quality shots on a consistent basis. Now here's Edwards. To the middle. Gobert. Gobert. Clark, no question which end of the floor Rudy Gobert makes his biggest impact. Yeah, he's a demoralizing defender. I mean, his height and reach give him some significant advantages, but it's more than that. You don't win multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards just because you're tall and long. You gotta have
have some toughness. You've got to have some anticipation and timing and the willingness to get down in dirt. And whenever there's an opportunity to drive, Gordon just flies to the rim. Great quickness, breathtaking quickness. And the basket by Gobert. You know, I don't think it's ever too late to make a sweet nine. I mean, even if you're halfway through your shot, you might find a better one with the 14 minute. Now here's Jokic. He's scoreless and stolen by Gobert. And it's Towns penetrating. Pass to McDaniels. Kicks it out, Towns. Up and over Gordon. The shot by Towns. No good. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. <laughs> B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. From deep, Jokic, he buries it from three. That high release of the Joker. If you're defending him, you better stay home. Edwards against Gordon. Back to Edwards. Towns outside. Clock at six. With the teardrop. And it's good on the layup. Towns has got his third basket on the night right there. And I'm trying to think of how many seven-footers I know with that level floater in their arsenal. It's a short roll call list, folks. Jackson surveying the D. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. And Joker doesn't get up too often, but when he slams it down, it feels like he's trying to bring the basket with him. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for the Timberwolves. Eight points in the quarter, showing... And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man. Just great selfless basketball. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too. Thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. On the floor for Denver, getting going in the second. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Michael Porter out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Watson in at the three slot. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, Carl Anthony Towns is a threat from everywhere on the court. He said, quote, if I need to shoot, I can shoot. If I need to post up, be a bruiser, I can be a bruiser. I'm not a specialist in anything. What I can do is be a very versatile player and try to do every single thing really well. Brian? Yeah, that's the good stuff there. Allie, thank you. You know, Jordan, to me, is one of the more reliable bigs in the league. He takes a lot of punishment and rarely takes a night off. Warren against Caldwell Pope. And T.J. Warren is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Porter with a screen on Warren. Caldwell Pope with a drive. And that one is hammered home. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. An open look for Reed. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Reed's got five points now in the quarter, and they say small ball is on the rise. But you look at the MVPs of Lake Clark, a lot of superstar bigs. Yeah, that's a great point, B.A. I mean, Embiid, Jokic, Giannis, I mean, with the floor spaced, I think it's freed up everybody that has ball skills to be able to make plays. And a lot of these guys are north of seven feet that are doing it, whether it's off the dribble or pass and catch or knocking down mid-range and long-range shots. I think it's added to the versatility of stars in the game, the different positions where you can start from because of how the game is played now. Conley against Caldwell Pope. From the arc. The shot by Conley. No good. And it's Murray with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. This one for three. 
Reed with the rebound. The Timberwolves have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. You know, the fighting spirit Nas Reed brings to this game is really something, Clark. Yeah, I tell you, he's a guy that is dynamic and electric, plays with great passion, and has a way of getting everybody fired up. He's an injection of energy for his team and the buildings he plays in. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. It's stolen away. And here we go. The Nuggets on the fast break. And slam dunk by Jordan. Strong defense followed by some smart offense. That's just good fundamentals. Here's Conley. Reed for three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his fourth assist with that last one. Jordan against McDaniels. Pass to Watson. Puts up a three. Knocks down the long J. You know, big guys like Jordan who can facilitate are really valuable. Spots the open man and gets it right to him. Looking for an opening. Here's Reed. Drives to the hoop. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Reed's got 12. Any possession that ends with him finishing at the rim is ideal. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. How about the guard getting up? Jamal Murray flying to the rack. Reed to screen on Caldwell Pope. Connolly with the ball. Jordan picks him up. Here's Reed. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Well, that time he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. Ooh, ripped away. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. And that one's good from Conley. And the Timberwolves lead by two. Showing off those instincts that make Conley such an offensive threat. Makes a good call and opts for the floater. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Jordan with a screen on Warren. Down low. And slam dunk by Jordan. I'll tell you what, it's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> yeah, it does make me look back a little bit, but I could never throw it down like that. It sure does look good. For the Nuggets, Nikola Jokic has checked in for Jordan. Najee comes in for Porter Jr. And it's Jackson in for Murray. Here's Conley. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. And Jokic throws it down. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Conley passes to Miller. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. Tie game in Minnesota. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one you look at Nas Reed what a contribution here through the first two quarters he's been on fire explosive offensive performance and you know what I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank that first half had to take a lot out of him. even though the Timberwolves made the playoffs in 2023 grand they had their share of trials yeah, B.A., they had to integrate new players. I mean, Cat missed 51 games due to a calf strain. There was that incident with Gobert and Kyle Anderson. And, of course, Jaden McDaniels fracturing his hand. McDaniels... Thank you. 
Towns in at the forward slot. Edwards out there with Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Gobert in at the center position. So that's the Timberwolves five. Well, Clark, we know Anthony Edwards is a great hooper. But how would you rate his acting ability? Hey, I thought he was quite good. To be honest with you, B.A., in that Hoops movie, he was playing the bad guy, the villain role. Man, has a huge personality. We saw that on the big screen. Perhaps a second career for him when he's done terrorizing the NBA. Gobert with the bucket. This is Gobert's comfort zone, using his size to capitalize down there. McDaniels against Gordon. Here's Jokic. Oh, what a slam from the big man, Jokic. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. The shot is good by Edwards. Edwards has got seven. Edwards flexing on them now. Bully ball inside. And so Jackson Jr. will bring it up for the Nuggets. Two-point game. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Boy, nice way to punctuate that possession. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. The officials were right on top of that. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Two shots. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. And when you watch this Nuggets team, Clark, their chemistry on the court is obvious. Yeah, B.A., the pieces just fit, and fit quite nicely. Give a lot of credit to the front office, doing a good job drafting, and then finding the right veterans to complement who they already had. Porter Jr., he's checked in for the Nuggets. Murray comes in for Jackson. You know, confidence feeds on itself, and the more experience Edwards gets, I think the more confidence he'll continue to gain, especially operating in these pick-and-roll sets. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. Gobert working inside. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide-open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. against Edwards lets it go from deep oh wow through the contact and that three almost went in so he'll go to the line for three free throws you know not the smartest play a defender can make there yeah unnecessary I mean make them earn those points from deep don't give them to him free at the line Jordan's checked in for the Nuggets Najee comes in for Porter Jr. And when healthy, Murray is a force, a force to be reckoned with because he can go get baskets against tough defense and he can also make plays for others. Inside. The kick out to Edwards. Gobert inside. Jordan's there. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. This is where Gobert likes to park himself, right around the rack. Here's Murray, driving in, and it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, my. That's why we have those breakaway rims. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Boy, that was a great dunk, and we've got a great game here. Shakes him, and Gobert with a nice bucket inside. Gobert's got eight here in this quarter. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Boy, slick pass by Murray. He makes such an effort to create for his teammates. The Timberwolves trail. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Edwards, the pass to Gobert. And there's the foul. It'll go on Aaron Gordon. That'll be a second foul of the game. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Reed's checked in for Gobert. Miller comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. Warren's checked in for Alexander Walker. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Edwards. And that one's good from Conley. <laughs> a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. Murray deciding where to go with it. Back to Jordan. 
Pass to Brown. Five on the clock. Jordan inside. Reed defending. Here's Brown. Got seven. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Warren, the pass to Conley. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Hey, T.J. Warren is definitely a scorer. He's got a shoot-first mentality, but he'll give it up if you're open. Murray against Conley. Outside Murray. Jordan, the screen. And it's Murray finishing it off. Boy, on nights like this, it seems like Murray is playing that defense like a song. He can make it a long night for the opponent. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. Nuggets ahead, leading by three. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The and while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And Denver. Look at who they've got to start. Start the fourth. Porter Jr. and Jokic down low. Contavious Caldwell Pope out there with Jackson. And it's Gordon in at the three. Denver calls timeout. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Conley's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Denver's coach was going over with his team. They said in the huddle, this is it. No excuses. Let's figure out a way to win. A couple of players spoke as well, firing up their teammates. A great ending could be in store, guys. Okay, thanks, Allie. Outside, Caldwell Pope. With the leaping ability that Caldwell Pope possesses, he knows when to bounce to the rack and throw it down. Here's Conley. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. The screen doesn't earn him a ton of breathing room. Turns out, he doesn't need it. McDaniels against Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Porter Jr. getting flashy. Check him out. Using a tricky dribble to get the best of the defender there. Conley against Caldwell Pope to the paint. Here's Gobert. Get out of Gobert's way. Wow. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. To the inside, Jokic. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got six assists in the game. Impressive seeing Jokic go off like this. I mean, you can tell his teammates are being energized by what he's doing. Conley finds Gobert over Jokic. Gobert with the bucket. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Towns a screen on Jackson. Over to the left wing. Conley against Jackson. Pass to Towns. Oh, touch off the glass. And it's now only a one-point nugget lead. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade. Conley plays with the old school first mindset. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Tries the spin move. Here's Gobert. Oh, Gobert rocking the rim. Gobert calling for the ball in moments like these. 
Big time games under his belt. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. Nick Daniels, that's good. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Minnesota. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off of transition play. Running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. Down the screen on Caldwell Pope. Daniels, great positioning on the putback. And the Timberwolves lead by one. Save McDaniels, what a moment. Huge bucket there. Major poise for Porter Jr. Big time at coming through. His teammates need him too. Caldwell Pope against Conley. Dive for it. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Huge turnover there and at a bad time, too. Have to value every possession. The Nuggets making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Conley against Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at five. Conley passes to Gobert. Good D by Jokic. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Order a screen. Murray with it. Now guarded by McDaniels. Right side, Porter. Out to the right wing. Jokic passes to Porter. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Here are the Timberwolves. 44 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Gobert with a screen on Caldwell Pope. The three, Conley. Oh, that trifecta! Somebody's in the fire under Mike Conley. And it's Murray with the ball for the Nuggets. Here's Porter. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Conley against Caldwell Pope. Now here's Conley. Defense right on him. Towns a screen on Caldwell Pope. Conley passes to Alexander Walker. To the middle. Oh, he missed it! Now a timeout called by Denver. second shot if they overturn the basket they'd get a chance to play the overtime period otherwise this one's over
making each other better. You need that to be successful. It doesn't matter how much talent you have. Teams that play hero ball make it too easy for the defense to adjust. We won't be seeing too much of that tonight. Now look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. In at the guard spots, Maxie and Melton. Joel Embiid out there with Robert Covington. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. Now Maxie. After Anthony Edwards missed from long range. So locked in from range. Maxi almost makes it look effortless. Gobert with a screen on Maxi. Edwards. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Maxi passes to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Now, I understand he's a large human, but the defense has to be better. You can't let Embiid get whatever he wants inside. Now, here's Edwards to the paint. Here's Gobert. Spins. Let's it go from the wing. Embiid with the steal. And now here's Oubre. Fast break chance. Kicks it out to Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. Now that's confidence right there. This is when you know Maxi is feeling it. Here's Edwards. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Again, Philadelphia. Love the patience from Covington. Uh, let's the situation develop and then delivers a perfect strike. Edwards kicks to Jones. It's good. Oh. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Maxi against Edwards. Maxi into the lane. Melton feeling it out a bit. Three pointer. Another three for Philadelphia. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. They trail by nine points. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. And talented in so many ways. Edwards is focusing on two things the refining of his shot mechanics and the sustained level of engagement. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Maxi into the lane, and he converts the layup. Maxi's got 10 points in the game. Turning on the Jets, Maxi found a lane and made them pay. Here's Edwards, puts the move on. Here's Gobert. Left side, Edwards. Over Maxi. Edwards can't hit. Philadelphia leading by nine. Covington finds MB. Covington down low. Towns on him. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. Now oh, here's Edwards. He has six. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Inside. And Gobert with the basket on the assist from Edwards. And I like that. Edwards comes off the pick, keeps his options open, and then just makes the right read. Melton with a screen on Edwards. Maxi and slam dunk by Maxi. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, they're in control on both ends of the court, and it's always impressive when you build a double-digit lead in the first quarter. They get it again. Left side, Towns. Nails the wide-open jump shot. 
Towns has got his second basket of the game. The silky smooth there from the mid-range. Cats mechanics on that jump shot are excellent. Scooped up. Pass to Embiid. Outside Covington. Six on the shot clock. Embiid sets the pick for Covington. Tries again. It's rebounded by Towns. Timberwolves trail by nine. Edwards looking it over. Towns sets the pick for Edwards. Outside Towns. Out to Edwards. And it's good. Two points. Edwards got his third basket of the night. Excellent touch on the floor. There. Edwards is such a dynamic offensive talent. Tyrese Maxey. He's been the guy making things happen for Philadelphia. That quarter had to take a lot up. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, Ari out there with Buddy Heal, and there's Mohamed Bamba. Then it's Martin, and it's Batum in at the three spot. And it goes down two points. And just so crafty around the hoop. Lowry probably six feet at best, but and he can slip inside and score with the best of them. And it's Conley penetrating. Yep, it counts. Conley's got four points in the quarter. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. Heel from outside. Reed with the rebound. Timberwolves trail by five. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Tobias Harris has checked in for Philadelphia. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Here's Conley. And he banks in the lane. Conley's got six points. It does a lot for Conley's overall game when he's attacking. He wants to give the D more to worry about than just passing and shooting. Bamba setting the pick for heel. Back to Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Conley against Lowry. And it's Conley penetrating out to Miller. Going inside, and they pick up two. Miller's got his first basket of the night. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. They've led by as many as 11 points. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Now Conley. He's got six. Has to read. Miller outside. Back to Reed. Down to five on the shot clock. Bamba with the block. The main thing you get with Bamba, imposing defender, shot blocker, alters everything in the paint. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. With that sixth overall pick in 2018, Mo Bamba hasn't been a star, but is there some untapped potential? I think so. You've got a shot blocker who can also space the floor from beyond the arc. That's a pretty good foundation to build on, Greg. How about the concentration? Lowry, no stranger to taking contact and still finish. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. Here's Conley. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. But it's amazing how the game has evolved. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Conley scanning the floor. 
driving to the basket. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. The 76ers leading by five. Martin with the screen for Lowry. They get the rebound. Passes to Bamba. The dish to heel. Now the pass to Martin. And finished off by Martin. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward. And he needs to be as an undersized player. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Shot by Heal. Nobody around. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Heald's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Lowry against Tom. And the 76ers lead has been cut down to just eight points with the button for Miller. And, you know, Conley developed great vision in terms of the floor, and that allows him to spot an open teammate. Healed right side. Lowry against Conley. And it's Lowry penetrating, and the shot goes in. Lowry's got seven points in the game. A whole nice drive by Lowry, cutting the defense to pieces and then getting himself open for a look. Lowry against Conley. Rebound by the 76ers. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And here's Lowry. He has seven. Heel can't hit. Set the pick. Here's McDaniels. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Yeah, and he plays a lot bigger than that six-foot frame. Which... Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You look at Tyrese Maxey in this one, guys. He has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. Then there's Edwards. Then there's McDaniels, and it's Alexander Walker in at the shooting guard position. That's Chris Finch's five as we get into the second half. Out to Edwards. Lock at six. To the inside, Covington with the steal. And now the 76ers on the break. And the dunk by Covington. Smart pass from the quick-thinking Maxie. Outstanding in finding uncovered teammates. Edwards passes to McDaniels. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. But three sinks the three-pointer. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Maxie looking it over. Shot clock at six. Back to Embiid. With the shot. Again, Philadelphia. When we talk about guys seven feet plus, is Embiid the top shooter? I can't think of anyone that's a little bit better. Here's McDaniels. He takes it in. Strong to the 10. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GM, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. He gets it in there. How about the agility of Maxi there, just working around the defense? Maxi against Edwards. Another shot. Here's Gobert, and there it is for him. 
Gobert's got his second basket of the night. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. If you ask around, the NBA is in a great place. Two-time league MVP Nikola Jokic said, we are witnessing some crazy talent in the league. I mean, everyone. Everyone. They work on their game. The talent around the league is amazing, and I only think it's going to be better and better. Kevin? Yeah, David, you and I agree the league is in a very good place right now. And thanks for the report. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Miller comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. And it's Mike Conley in for Edwards. Reed finds Warren. Misses the three. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for Philadelphia. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Now here's Heald. Miller grabs the miss. It's tipped. And on defense, Batum uses that wingspan well, creates solid coverage. Oh, yep, wow. that one goes. Lowry's got nine points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now, he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. And he comes up with the deuce. Lowry's got four points this quarter. And you love how Lowry insists on finishing his drive. Not even the contact can dissuade him. Conley against Lowry. Conley, the pass to Reed. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Bamba with it. Conley picks him up. They grab their own miss. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. And the 76ers making a change here. Harris has checked in. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. The Timberwolves have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Reed. Towns comes in for Miller. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for T.J. Warren. And Anthony Edwards subbed in for Mike Conley. Edwards against Heald. Pass to Bamba. Heald with it. Bamba a screen on Edwards. And as a defender, Edwards' speed and agility make him tough to shake. No easy shots. And so it's Philadelphia in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Heald is out there with Lowry. Then it's Martin. Then it's Bamba. And it's Batum in at the small forward position. And the shot goes down. So skilled in working inside town. Knows how to operate down low. Batum sends a screen for Lowry. For the basket, it's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. Edwards against Lowry. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And the 76ers with a completely new group now. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Gobert with a screen on Maxi. Here's Edwards. 
And the rejection by Embiid. Every year, he's a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. His instincts, that's what makes Embiid outstanding. And his awareness of when to go for the block. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Philadelphia. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't have any room to breathe. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. The 76ers leading by 16. Outside, Maxi. This is to Oubre. Finished off by Oubre. And the leaping ability of Oubre Jr. When he gets inside, this guy is determined to finish. Towns finds Edwards. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Towns for three. Carries the long-range jumper. Towns has got five points now this quarter. Wow, look at the release. Towns with a quick trigger. Outside, Maxi over Edwards. Again, Philadelphia. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the... Put it down! Edwards is so fast in how he gets up to throw it down. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Towns the screen. And finished off by Edwards. It's a guys keep getting Edwards the ball and just let in. Edwards against Maxi. And that one drops. Maxi's got 10 points here in the second half. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Edwards. And Edwards with the stop. And how about the athleticism from Edwards rocketing off the drive there for the slam. To the paint. Kicks it out to Maxi. Covington a screen on Edwards. Tyrese Maxey again. Maxey's got 25 points in the game. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go on to the next. Got to at least show a little heart out here. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the 76ers. And guys, the fast break was run, I thought, beautifully all night by these guys. I think that was a big part of their success. Yeah, they definitely ran the break well. A big advantage in that category. And they continually put pressure on the defense. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Tyrese Max. And he's been a well-oiled machine on offense, keeping things simple in this game. Oh! Edwards showing, though, he has got some skill. Maxi passes to Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Here's Edwards. Oh, what? That is can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. And it's in there. And the 76ers lead by 20. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. Do you know why? Because they are so... Oh, look at that play right there! Okay, that's how it's done. Woo! Anthony Towns with a little extra emphasis on that one. Here's Maxi.
I am. Guard play is so incredible right now in the NBA. Both of these teams are loaded in the backcourt. I expect them to trade punches back and forth. Trey, yeah. Now Atlanta starting five. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. A.J. Griffin out there with Johnson. And it's Capella in at center. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And there's the foul against Atlanta. Look how sturdy Embiid is as a shooter. Even with the foul, he's able to put the shot up. Good on both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Melton. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. And then Embiid with the dunk. Yeah, Embiid can throw it down from anywhere. So much power for the big fella. Young, the pass to Murray. On the wing, Murray. Over Oubre. Just five to shoot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, Smitty, during the 2022 offseason, the Hawks made a blockbuster trade for DeJounte Murray. Atlanta sending a clear signal. They want to win now. And I love it, B.A. The front office showing confidence in their players. Maxie finds Embiid. And just over a minute played here to start the game. Melton passes to Maxi. Embiid is screened on Murray. Embiid against Capella. Out to Oubre. Here's Martin. Sends it home from three-point land. guessing they don't know who to try to take away now here's young and they come right back with their own three-pointer young's got five points yeah back-to-back -back threes trey young welcomes this duel because they're usually to his advantage the hawks have gone two of three from the floor maxi against murray the shake Here's Capella. They kick it out to Murray. Another three for Atlanta. Working off ball, something Murray continues to develop. That's a nice play. Here's Melton. There's the drive. Count it. One for one to start the game. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Young misses. Can't fault the play call, even though he couldn't convert. That's a good shot. For three, Maxi. And the 76ers, another three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Young looking over the floor. Here's Capella. And a slam dunk by Capella. In terms of playmaking, Trey is as good as they come. Down low. Oubre passes to Maxi. Let's the three fly. Fires hitting the triple. Maxi's got a second bucket on the night. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Atlanta with the ball. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. The shot. And again, it's Atlanta. A tough cover because Murray thrives in the pick and roll. He can beat you with the shot or the pass. Oubre. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Good boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting. 
bring it up to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. And that one drops for him. Embiid's got eight points. I love the confidence Embiid plays with, especially this close to the rim. Now here's Young. Give him eight points now. And yeah, that one's good. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. For three, Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. And so it's Johnson with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Trailing by five. Capella, screen on Melton. There's the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Young. And the Hawks going with a whole new group out there. Substitution on the court. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Maxi. He's got nine. Oubre on the wing. And the call will be against Kelly Oubre. That'll be a second foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Seven seconds left in the opening quarter. Picked up by a Kongwu. A good look from Bogdanovich. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. On either side of the pick and roll, Bogdanovich is so hard to cover. What a performance for Tyrese Maxey. He has been the story for Philadelphia. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. All right, stick. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the 76ers? Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. <laughs> you know, another thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint, just dominating down there. They're just getting whatever shot they want in close. Tobias Harris out there with Robert Covington. Then it's Buddy Heald. Then it's Mo Bamba. And it's Lowry in at the point. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. A Kongwu, a screen on Covington. Again, Atlanta. An absolute sharp shooter with this quick release. Bogdanovich gets it to go. Well, Bogdan Bogdanovich played his first five years in a different pro league. But he was ready when he arrived, Smitty. B.A. hit the ground running. Such a good shooter. He's getting double digits every night. He's on the floor. Hunter up top. He's guarded by Lowry. Here's a Kongwu. The kick to Hunter. Five to shoot. Popping in on the layup. Hunter's got his first basket. A tough guy who doesn't mind mixing it up. Hunter can do a lot of damage in the paint. Here's Lowry. Oh, no good again that time. The Hawks leading. Second quarter basketball. Just over a minute and a half played so far. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Outside heel. with the rebound. Atlanta's gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Bogdanovich against Covington. Bogdanovich passes to Bay. The three ball. Count it. One for one to start the game. A volume three-point shooter at his position. Sadiq Bay doesn't lack confidence pulling the trigger. Lowry finds Bamba. Screen by Bamba. The three. Here's Harris. Goes back up. Basket counts. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Bogdanovich against Covington. Floats one up. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. 
Heald on the wing. He's covered by Bay. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Hawks? They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. And Lowry puts up a deep three. Knocks down the triple. Lowry's got five now. And when it comes to defining rivalry, Smitty, think both sides have to win big, or is mutual dislike enough? No, I think B.A. winning really brings the rivalry out. And I think it has to go back-to-back -back, uh, years. Also, a little bad blood doesn't hurt a rivalry when both teams just don't like each other. Covington against Bogdanovich. No luck on that one. Good D by Covington. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Bamba, a screen on Hunter. And here's Harris outside. Another three for Philadelphia. This is what happens when you put in the work. Tobias Harris is now a knockdown shooter from range. Picked up by Okongwu. Bogdanovich passes to Okongwu. Hunter against Bamba. To the inside. Okongwu. And that one drops. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. First team foul. There's 53 seconds left in the second. Lowry against Bogdanovich. Here's Heel into the lane. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. They keep capturing the lead and giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Bay from long range. And he's all alone for the finish. And it's Bamba finishing strong. More than just a score. Heald moves the ball well, especially when his guys are open. Outside Hunter. Picked up by a Kongwu. Charity stripe shot, and he drops that one in. When the defense is non-existent like they were there, it's pretty easy to score like he did. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Heal. Takes the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Heal's got five points now in the quarter. We've seen that from Lowry for a long time. A fantastic passer of the basketball. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Sixers ahead. They're up by four. Well, now a minute to check in with Ali LaFour. Ali, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Boy, what a great performance by Trey Young. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And Atlanta, looking at who they've got. Murray the two, and Griffin the three. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella, and it's Young in at the one spot. Young with the bucket. Built to score. Trey Young has been on one tonight. The Sixers leading. Well, one thing we know about Trey Young, he is fearless when it comes to big shots, Smitty. B.A., Trey Young loves to play spoiler. He embraces being the villain for the opposing fans. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Maxie's got 15 points. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there. Time and time again. Philadelphia has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Martin with a screen on Murray. Maxie finds Embiid. Shoots over Capella. 
Embiid can't hit. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Young with the bucket. Trae Young. That's his bread and butter play. Trey Young getting the space he needs to do damage. Oubre is screen on Young. No, attacking. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Murray from outside. Rebound by the 76ers. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. For three, Maxi. Capella with a rebound. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Murray, no good. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. No one covering. And it's an 11-point Philadelphia lead. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Here's Maxi. Oh, he trains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. Inside to end the run. Oh, the dunk by a Kongwu. Now, B.A., you know. They would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. And it's Lowry penetrating. Harris outside. Covington, a screen on Hunter. For three, here's Harris. On target from range. Harris has got six points. An effortless jump shooter. Tobias still getting more consistent and extending his range. Bogdanovich, no good. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. For NBA players, off the court physical training has become paramount. And Celtics big man Al Horford told me the day-to-day -day grind has changed. Before it was just basketball. Now these other routines are being incorporated, and it's really changing the game. And Brian, it's not just the veterans. Even the young players are seeing the benefits as well. They really are. you got to do it. Thanks, Alec. Here in the second half, they just found better shots. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Lowry surveys the D. Bamba, a screen on Bogdanovich. And here's Lowry from the arc. And the 76ers, another three. Tough-minded individual. Lowry answers back with his own three on the other end. They finds Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dominant. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Lowry, good. What quickness from Kyle. He gets the ball and is gone in seconds. Atlanta's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Akongwu, a screen on Covington. There's Bogdanovich with the three. Here's Akongwu. Outside for Bay. Beyond the arc. Hits the trifecta. Bay's got six. The short corner three works for Bay. He's pretty confident he can hit it from there. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Personal foul. Second team foul. And he can't get the first one. the line for Philadelphia. And he sinks the second. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. 
DeJounte Murray, he is so clean with the dribble. It'll count. Doesn't go for him. And so it's Philadelphia in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. And the three ball has been huge in building. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Kenyon Martin is out there with Kelly Oubre. And it's Embiid in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. He found the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. That's so a free throw coming up, foul. an opportunity at a three-point play. Foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the 76ers. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them. So they have just stuck with the game. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition. Just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. Young, the pass to Murray. Takes a three, and the Hawks with another Trae three. Young. Gotta know the scouting report with Trey Young. He's going to make a number of threes if you're not careful. Martin with a screen on Murray. And Maxi, here we go. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. First team foul. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for Philadelphia. Tyree. Both free throws good from Maxi. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. Capella, screen on Melton. They get the rebound. Capella can't get it to go. Capella's gone one of three shooting so far. Embiid is screen on Murray. Embiid, high post. Oh, Embiid with the slam. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. against Melton. Outside Young. To the paint. Embiid with a steal. And they're on the break. And he goes in for the dunk. And you love to see the aggressiveness. Using the height advantage to hammer it home. Young, the pass to Capella. Back to Young. Capella, screen on Melton. There's Young with the three. Drains the triple. Young's got 18 points now here in the second half. Great awareness by Capella to recognize the breakdown defensively. Here's Melton. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And the 76ers lead by 14. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. A good look from Young. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Maxi against Murray. Maxi passes to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And there's the process at work. Embiid rolls off the pick and right into scoring position. Young way outside. And the three off target. So it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. That one goes. And that's his ninth made shot in 12 attempts. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. They're often shooting from way beyond the arc. Young easily pops in the short range three. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. 
Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the 76ers. They made a point to get some good looks. Yes, they were able to pound the ball inside. I love it. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Tyrese Maxey. Gotta respect the leadership he showed today. Made great reads and distributed the ball accordingly. Murray, the shot is good. They're on a little run right now, but I'm wondering, where was this energy earlier? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now, or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Good. Leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on them. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Murray passes to Capella. They kick it out to Murray. Capella, screen on Oubre. From 18 feet away, Murray, no good. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Pass to Maxi. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Harden with the bucket. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Here's Murray on the take. Lays it up and banks it in. From the moment when he sticks his foot in the ground and puts his head down, DeJounte Murray is explosive and fast. Maxi with it. 